I think we're ready to ride. Yeah. Good to see you, Saval. Coley, welcome aboard. And uh, glad you guys could make it tonight. Or, uh, well, I'm not doing the HC Media stream, obviously. I thought I'd do this instead. Uh, because uh, there's so much going on. And, uh, boy, I'm really getting into it. Um, it's uh, been a lot of fun uh, getting to this point in it. And uh, looking forward to uh, getting into some things tonight. So let's see what happens here. Uh, in the meantime, uh, like I said, thanks again for uh, supporting the channel. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I know Dull's lurking out there as well. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, get things underway here in a moment. Now, one of the things, uh, give me a sec. Uh, yeah, one of the things, uh, going on at the moment is, uh, we have been warned, uh, to stay away from Valentine, uh, due to, uh, uh, uh a black hole <laughs> appearing there, uh, more or less. Um, basically, basically, uh, We've kind of run into some problems in, in the past with uh, the uh, uh, the one sync, which allows us to have multiple people on the server. And uh, today is no exception. Um, before, well, when I was just getting things ready for the stream, um, I, I was warned about this being a problem. Um, and to stay away from Valentine. So... I kind of jumped in and I was like, uh, I've, I've got this little spot that I've been hanging out at, uh, basically like where I park, uh, at the end of, uh, my, uh, whenever I'm in the server and, um, it's not too far away from Valentine because, you know, there's usually a lot of stuff going on there and whatnot. Um, so yeah, I, I was going to run back. Uh, so that, uh, there'd be kind of a synchronous thing between where we ended, uh, the previous stream and, uh, starting this thing. Um, <laughs> that's not gonna happen. Uh, I jumped on the horse and, like, a bat out of hell was riding, I was gonna make my way over to San Denis, uh, the big city, New Orleans type city there. And, uh, I got, I didn't even get close to Valentine, and it is... It is, yeah, it's a black hole. Just consider it that. Um, because when I, as soon as I started getting close, it started chopping. And then, like, I was kind of looking down and, and looking at the screen at the same time kind of thing, you know, trying to get other stuff going. And uh, I, I looked up and saw, like, five horses, just horses, standing there with saddles and no riders. And I was like, damn i'm in trouble because sure enough as soon as i got close to where those horses were blam i was out uh just completely dumped me off the server uh so okay no problem i still got like 10 15 minutes to you know get things going for the stream logged in and as soon as i hit the ground like it immediately uh kicked me out and I was like, oh man, no. No, we're not going to have this happen uh, like basically a second stream in a row where we start off, you know, not even on the server. Um, so I got in again. And uh, this time I could see my horse, so I was going to run to the horse. And that was not the right move. Um, so the next time I logged in, I turned around and ran... Like, as soon as I possibly could, I turned around and ran the opposite direction uh, as fast as possible. And uh, we are, uh, we're safe. Or at least for the time being. Until the black hole consumes the area that I'm in. Um, which I'm hoping isn't coming anytime soon. 
but <laughs> who knows we'll see how it goes uh it's part of the fun of doing this is uh not knowing where we're headed um and uh looking forward to uh just that so throw in that little extra bit of excitement for tonight um, basically, what the problem is is that uh, everybody's kind of uh, w uh, when uh, everybody kind of gets in one place, uh, things start happening. And one of those things is that people will disappear. Like you don't see them; they're actually there, but you can't see them. You can only see like thirty-two people within the zone that you're in. Um. And so what starts happening is you'll start noticing, like, doors opening on their own. Like, kind of, obviously, they're ghosts, because you can't see them. Um, but the horses stick around. And the other crazy thing that happens is if somebody crashes, their horse stays in the world. And doesn't, like, despawn. So what you get happening is, is that, you know, there's a chain reaction here where people are disappearing and uh, their horses are not and so it becomes even more of a, a problem as time goes on and apparently we hit critical mass uh about a, a half hour ago or so at least for this zone where uh where it's at so we're gonna try to work our way around that and we'll see how that goes um, there's a couple other things, uh, I had some things that I wanted to kind of, uh, at least, uh, take a look at with you guys, and, uh, show you some of the stuff here. I know there's, uh, quite a few people right now that are actually on. Uh, we are, where are we sitting here? We are sitting at, uh, 78 right now. And like I said, uh, this, uh, originally, this, these servers could only do, uh, 32 and then 64, and then, well, uh, 96 was where we were at. Well, they've bumped it up to 128 people now. But, remember, there's still this problem where you can only see 32 people at one time. So, yeah, there's, it's going to be tricky getting around, but I, 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 we know where, we know where the black hole is, so thus, you know, Let's try not to poke it at this point. So, uh, we are going to uh, go on a sightseeing tour uh, to get around the black hole and uh, hopefully find a place that we can uh, uh, take a look at uh, a couple of things. Uh, one of those is I wanted to uh, take a look at uh, one of the new old features, old features that's now new, uh, which is the carts and wagons uh, in the game. And uh, we had briefly looked at some of those on the last stream, but uh, we'll do a couple more. We'll take a look at a couple more of those. Um, obviously, there's also uh, the story here, which is finding a story here, uh, being the uh, journalist uh, that uh, that we are. And uh, also, there's kind of another, another new kind of angle to it, and uh, we'll get to that uh, when we do. Um, yeah, that's... The goal right there please do not feed that black hole so that'll be our uh, our goal for uh, this section right here but let's uh let's see what happens and uh go with it once again thanks everybody for joining me for uh hc dime novels uh issue number two uh the tale of robert stockton and uh, i think you i think this should be fun so uh really looking forward to it once again thanks for joining me and uh enjoy the show
Hurry, boy. We gotta figure out a way around this. Uh, Sheriff's Department says no way. We can't go towards Valentine. So uh, we gotta work our way around. Um, probably uh, best bet will be uh, heading over to uh, Blackwater. It'll work. Hey, tell you home. Mr. GG Hick in the house. What's up, man? How you doing? We are avoiding the black hole. Is uh, what we are doing. You take a look in uh, PRC there. Uh, we are being told to avoid Valentine. And uh, let me tell you, I have uh, flown too close to the sun. And I will definitely agree that that is a bad idea. It is uh, very, very ugly over there. Cody. Cody. Okay, um, here's something else too. I don't know if I um, showed you these, this before on the stream, but I think I have mentioned it. Uh, yes, don't feed the black hole is our our goal for uh, this evening's stream. Uh, yeah, I don't know if you guys have seen this yet. I, I think I showed it before on the old stream. But uh, for those of you uh, familiar with uh, uh, some... Uh, some movie history. 
uh, this would be uh, the tree the tree location from uh, Shawshank Redemption. This is where the treasure is buried. There's a there's a lot of little things like that in uh, in this game, um, hidden all over the place. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a <laughs> this is a long way from Maine. Uh, and uh, yeah, this this is a good one here. Uh, there's some other really good uh, movie recreation things uh, in this area as well. Doo -doo -doo. Don't mind me, I'm just going to stare at you. Um, yeah, yeah, basically like a, a Valentine has fallen into a, uh, uh, an amorphous black hole. Uh, I knew I was in trouble when I came racing up on it at full speed and, uh, there were a whole bunch of, uh, riderless horses all standing there. And, uh, <laughs> the last thing I heard was, uh, TeamSpeak cutting out and somebody going, oh shit, that was it. <laughs> so, no, I wasn't logged out there. I've got, uh, I've got a little place that, uh, that I've been logging out outside of Valentine. Uh, that is perfect for uh, this situation. Um, yeah, I, I, I try to avoid uh, logging out in uh, a location where there's going to be potential for a lot of folk being around, which Valentine is it. But uh, for what I've been doing, um, it, uh, it's such a great spot. Um... My guess is yes, at least until server reset, which I think is what, like another hour from now. The problem is uh, the horses. So, you know. I'm guessing they can send somebody in there to clean it up, but uh, yeah, it's, it's probably that bad that uh, they're just not even messing with it because they just told us to stay the hell away. Um, which is fine because uh, there's so much to uh, mess around with here. I'm also uh, attempting to work on my um, geolocation skills a little bit. To try to uh, remember where things are. Without having to look at the map all the time. Yeah, pretty close. I think. Yeah, back way in. Yeah, one of the things we were going to take a look at uh, tonight is uh, carts and uh, some of the stuff with the uh, the wagons and carts that they've added in. And basically what I've been doing is uh, going through and uh, renting uh, new ones. I also got uh, this horse here, which is uh, a Turkoman. And uh, we got the horse all the way up to level 4. Uh, so it's a, a fully trained uh, Turkoman. And damn. It is, uh, it is a Vincent Black Shadow. There is no question about it. It is all, all out. But, uh, you know. Yeah, uh, well, it's level four because I'm, uh, my OCD is strong when it comes to things like that. Some for other people. 
What was the reason you wanted me to have cheese? Doll, if you're listening. I just don't carry it because it's a. I'm not using it. I don't usually grab uh, the small fish anymore. Um, yeah, here, check it out. The uh, uh, rank four is uh, 2,450 uh, to get rank four. Which, uh, I think, I forget what the other horse I had was. The one that I bought, the, uh, like, $100 horse. I think it was. It was, like, 90 or $100 horse. At the very beginning. And I think that was only 1500 but it might have been, like, a little more, like, 1700 Uh, but, yeah, this is 2450 Um. Now, there's a, a bunch of things that I've learned, uh, along the way that make that number seem daunting but it isn't as bad as it sounds it depends on how much money you have and uh how much time you have uh which it kind of works out good because there's some things that you can buy that basically buff uh they give you a, a bonus so like that cream the horse cream is worth three points so each jar of horse cream you use you get three i mean it's not a lot but uh, in the grand scheme of things, that, along with uh, the candies, the sugar, and uh, the hay. I think there's one other thing. There's, a, there's another item in there somewhere. Um, that basically you can use those items uh, in conjunction with each other. Uh, so you basically, like, you give them a candy, you brush them... You give them a, a tube of sugar, you brush them, you give them hay, you brush them. And if you kind of do that, you can actually, like, I don't want to call it, like, power grinding, but it definitely goes a lot faster like that. Um, but, yeah, basically what I uh, what I do is, is that I get into the habit of uh, anytime I, uh, you know, go to get on the horse, I brush it. Uh, when I was riding uh, back to the uh, different... Um, uh, locations like here to buy bait uh, for fishing um, I'd go at like super slow pace like basically uh, a local uh, like this and uh, in doing that like you can I don't know I think it was like a, a hundred I could get a hundred points in in the trip from Valentine to uh, San Denis so, you know I mean it, yeah sure it takes time and uh, it's not, you know, the quickest kind of thing to do. But, uh, man, does it make a difference. Like, uh, I, and again, you know, this might just be, uh, you know, uh, playing with it and you get in and just kind of go, okay, well, it seems better. You know, you know, you know exactly it. Like, when you get the new pair of kicks, man. Those shoes, you can run so much faster on the playground with those, right? So, it's kind of like that, I think. But uh, it definitely is a, a much better um, movement. I can definitely tell that. Um, I don't know so much on the stamina because, like I said, I, basically uh, it was a slow crawl most of the time. I've done uh, some pretty fast runs with him, and uh, he is super fast. Like any of the uh, the other folks that uh, I go by, I just go ripping by him. Um, but, uh, I get the impression that the stamina burns out very quickly at high speed for a while. So, you know, I just don't push it. Um, let's see. Okay, good, it is set to that. Um, but yeah, for the most part, it's, a uh, um, like I said, it's pretty noticeable. Uh, like the reaction time that the horse seems to have is a little bit faster. Um, it reminds me a lot more of the online, of uh, uh, how the game is when you uh, do this uh, online. Um, it tends to uh, pull, it, it, I don't know, it just makes it a little bit easier to use. It's just basically like tuning a car, you know, you get upgrades on it. That's basically how this feels. 
you get a little bit will get better on each one of the things it's nothing spectacular but uh, I think this is like the mid-grade horse and then uh, there's the upper echelon ones which are uh, 1500 a piece I think uh, which are the Arabians and I think there was another one there's another one that's pretty expensive I think this is like 11 or 800 I don't remember which uh yeah you'll see here when i show you the uh, the wagon thing um that seems like a lot but it's it's like basically just a little bit of uh fishing or some of the other stuff oh, one sec Blue. Hey. but uh yeah it's not too bad um, when you get a cart, uh, the, the big cart, like the large cart is 2,000 pounds, 2,000 pounds. You know how many fish that is? It's like more fish than I think you'd want to even spend time messing with. It's obviously made for, uh, uh, you know, doing big game hunting. Um... But, uh, yeah, that one seems cool. Uh, actually, here's one right here. Oh, actually, this is the, uh, the covered wagon. I don't know what those hold yet. I haven't, uh, messed with those yet. All right, all right. Yep. Let's, uh, let's keep it together here, Opie. Yeah, that's one of the covered wagons ones. Although I think it's a decoration. But uh, yeah, I was watching one of the streams last night. And... Uh, whoa! Oh, sir. The... Uh, somebody went flying by with the, uh, the Gatling gun tank cart. Uh, now, granted, I think it was like a side story type thing, you know, how they do that around here. There you go. Now, that rotten kid is going to change his coloring and everything, probably steal his saddle. But what are you going to do, right? But, uh, yeah, the, uh, actually, yeah, let's just run over, run over there. Take a look. Uh, do I have any cash on me? I don't think I do. Hmm. Get an idea of at least how much we're going to need. Oh, there's the, uh, the covered wagon. Yeah, dude. That is straight up Oregon Trail. Beast Boy has dysentery. Beast Boy has died from dysentery. Uh, so let's see. I don't have. Yeah, I don't know what the uh, the cooldown. Uh, I don't know what the cooldown is on this, and uh, still a little bit, a little bit janky. But uh, they're working on it, which is. All I want to see, man. Okay, so here's what we can... What I've been doing is just renting them right now instead of uh, buying one. Uh, let's see. The bench wagon is... That's, uh, I think, 10 people. Uh, the supply wagon is the one that I was telling you about before. I think that's the one with 2,000. Uh, the Overland Coach, I think, is the four... You know, it's a 
regular coach, but it's got like four horses, uh, which is a nightmare to drive, I'm sure. Uh, the ice wagon. I took one of the small buggies out, I think, last time. I uh, haven't looked at the hunter cart. Might want to look at that. A uh, large wooden cart. It's going to be another one of the big ones. Small covered buggy. That was the one that I got last time, I think. Fancy medium uh, wooden cart. The wooden cart is... that's. I'm going to buy one of these. Which I think is 150 or something like that. Uh, but that's a 200. It holds 200 pounds. Uh, it's a single horse. Kind of works out good. It doesn't have a light on it. Oh, so you're not like drawing attention to yourself. A uh, medium cabin coach. Large wooden cart. Medium wagon. Medium wagon two. Medium buggy. Chuck wagon. Small and large coach. There's the open chuck wagon. I think that's that one that we saw over there. And medium open coach. And then that's all of them. Um, let's see. Let's, uh... Yeah. Ten bucks. Okay. I think we'll get a try that medium cart. Ah, dang it. That's right. It doesn't cancel out. You have to walk away from it. And we'll try that one out. Hopefully that isn't going to be in the way. Okay, so we'll go in, we'll rent. Medium buggy. 
I paid the 10 bucks, and then you go into your owned tab, and there it is. And there I am. All right. I can open. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So what makes it medium here? have storage thirty pounds oh wait on one twenty pounds okay well so it's not quite to not quite the same storage as a horse Definitely not, not anywhere near the same uh, maneuverability. All right. And this is what I wanted to do with this. Now. So, these are basically tier four, you know, vehicles. So, basically like a fully, fully backed out horse. And uh, it does not, uh, it doesn't have stamina or, um, well, health. But if you, uh, there we go. If you, um, obviously if you damage it, you're pretty much screwed. Uh, you can disconnect the horse and actually ride the horse. So, yeah. But, uh, man, uh, the small cart is fast as hell. Let's see what this thing can do. Yeah. Not too bad. Definitely a little tipsy. How well it connects. Yeah. Connected pretty quickly. concerned with. Ooh, let's see how it does this. That's yeah, pretty good. It's, it seems to have a pretty decent throttle on it, too. Which is always good. Yeah. Um... The other bonus to this would be that, uh... You generally don't have to worry about wolves um, or bears unless unless you just plow right into them and then, you know, you'll go from there. But, uh, yeah, I kind of figured these would be a, a good vehicles to roll all the way across the map in. At least for now. You don't have to burn up a horse. Not that it's a huge issue, because uh, pretty much what I've seen is, is that you can pretty much put the horse away and pull it back out again, and it's usually fully healed, but I have run into, I don't know if the 
graphics are just not updated correctly or what's going on with it. But yeah, a lot of the time when I pull it out, it's at half. Which is fine because I've got to the two different horses, so I switch back and forth between them if necessary.
Yeah, no kidding, right? Man. That's, uh... I can definitely see long rides not being a lot of fun. I mean... <clears throat> it's no being shoved into uh, the back of a Honda Civic with three other people, but, uh... Definitely an uncomfortable sort of ride. It does look like the uh, the carriage does have a, a fairly decent uh, cushion seat on it. Pretty good ride though. Like I said, looks like it uh, holds two. So not too bad. It's been moving at a pretty good clip, and. Uh, like I said, the, the horse seems to be pretty good with it. It's, it's a fairly decent pace. I haven't pushed it too hard. I always like to uh, run them across the plains there. And uh, you can really see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. It's really amazing. Like I was watching um, the other cart that I had. Uh, earlier. Oh, let's just do this. Um, I was watching the other cart, and, uh, you can, you can see, like, um, uh, when you go through, uh, rain and, uh, other areas and it's muddy, you can actually see, like, the, uh, the mud, you know, catching on the wheel and then being flipped backwards. Um, yeah, it, it, it's just, it's really, uh, like, the level of detail on the vehicles is, uh, impressive. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad they were able to get it back into the, the, uh, into the mix. Yeah, here we go. Probably catch it here. A little bit, because this, this dirt is a little bit muddier. But, uh, yeah, it's... It's definitely, like, same kind of thing. It's it's a flat-out, like, if you're going a straight line, it's awesome. When you go to turn, that's when it's going to be tough. I thought this would be kind of a cool thing, too, though, in the future to uh, uh, look into, like, putting together uh, kart races uh, and stuff like that with, uh, with these. Uh, ultimately, what I'd really love to do in the future would be uh, something like uh, the Wacky Races and just do, like, the entire map in like a, a, a grand tour uh sort of thing i thought that would be a, a pretty fun uh you know have the the rally race kind of thing where you have like a, a two people uh running it and obviously you know you could do all kinds of different stuff with it but it'd be fun but yeah it's it's a really nice looking vehicle it's some great detail to it. Uh, I think I paid 35, so I think that means it's like 350. The history of video? Oh, video games. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, man. The history of video games is some pretty great stuff. There's a, a couple of really good... Uh... Oh, good. One sec. There we go. Um, yeah, there's a really good thing. I think it's on Netflix uh, that covers uh, the uh, uh, the beginning of uh, console gaming. Really fascinating stuff. I mean, as far as like you know, being a fan of video games and whatnot. Um, to see how it got started. I remember a lot of that, too, and some of that stuff was just pretty crazy. Happy Dance! Hey, hey, what's up, Swamp Fox? I, I, I appreciate you following, man. Uh, I, I, I love your streams. And, uh, great job last month, man. The, uh, uh, the Halloween stuff was so good. So good. But, uh, yeah, uh, definitely, uh, you guys, uh, if you want to check it out, definitely check out, uh, Swamp Fox 2020. Uh, 
his stream stuff is uh, good. Very good. Love your characters, dude. Um, but yeah, the, uh, uh like I was saying there, the, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it's on Netflix. Like, uh, it, it talks about it, the thing. I actually use, uh, a couple of, uh, the, uh, oh, shoot, where was it? Um, in one, a couple of the harmless content, uh, radio show things, I use a couple of names from, uh, the early video game. Uh, history uh, as uh, main characters well not main characters but you know characters I still think the best is the <laughs> the Klingon named Monte Hall uh, Monte of the Hall house that was definitely one of one of the better wow did I really just make the commander of the the, the evil villain of this thing Monty Hall and sure enough it worked well because if I remember correctly it was a truth or consequences uh, resolution to that part of the story I was watching a lot of game show networks during that time all right yeah so I dig this this is a this is a cool little cart uh, this is the medium and uh, I'm, I don't know. I'll have to check out the other carts first. But I definitely think that a, a cart is uh, going to be his thing. Or at least one of his things. Oop. Until we crash it into something. Oh, hey, man. Thanks. Appreciate it, Coley. Uh, you heading off to work? Well, hopefully you have a good night at work if you're going there. But I'm guessing, I'm pretty sure this was, if I remember correctly, this was one of your work weeks. Right on, right on. Uh, well, have a good time at work, man. And uh, appreciate you stopping by and uh, supporting the channel and uh, hanging out for the radio shows and everything. Uh, it's a lot of fun, man. And, uh, yeah. Appreciate you. Um, I don't think I can do this this way. Let's not do this this way. Hey. Wow. The uh, the troughs can be used uh, for uh, cleaning yourself up, which it doesn't look like this is as much of a problem with the cart. And it, once again, this may be a Ked's shoes thing. This is, this is definitely a, this could definitely pass as a news wagon. <laughs> well, I don't know, man. Some of these troughs, it, you know, I, I, I start to understand why people didn't live real long <laughs> come the turn of the century. I mean, aside from, you know, the, uh, the obvious pollution in the air. Man, the idea of clean water in this game is just non-existent. But yeah, either way, man, uh, have a good day at work, and uh, appreciate you stomping on by. And uh, we'll see you uh, probably tomorrow night. Oh, actually, yeah, you'll probably have to work, so you'll miss the radio show tomorrow night. Uh, well, either way, man, have a good one. And uh, we'll see you soon. All right. This is what I wanted to. Uh... <laughs> it's a family trough thing. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I was going to show you here. Um. Oh, good. They do have some of the stuff. I don't really need it because I've got my horse maxed out. But um, in here, these are uh, this is the horse cream that I was talking about, and then uh, hay, 
peppermint candy, and uh, sugar cubes. This button. There we go. Sugar cubes. Uh, usually, uh, here is a good place to go. This uh, this general store uh, seems to restock like seven of each of these items uh, when it does restock. But uh, like I said, these all go at uh, I'm pretty sure three a piece. Like you get three ticks uh, per item. Now you can see here two thirty nine, two thirty nine, two thirty nine. You can kind of get the idea as far as the pricing goes. So. It's a little bit more expensive than buying just the brush and uh, doing it uh, by hand. All right. Oh. I'm definitely going to be careful with this thing because it wants to take off. Not too bad for in the city. Yeah, not too bad at all. Alright. Where is... This? Oh, it's in... Uh, I see. It's inside. things going with the uh, the new uh, battlefield there here that's it yeah here we go advance is too far away okay I see how this is gonna go ah do this because I don't like taking up the space when other people are here. Plenty of room to rob me. Whoa. Yeah, that's what I figured is, is that, uh, you know, I mean, it really doesn't, especially games like that, as long as you get to, like, some good folks to play with and, uh, you know, it's not too janky, uh, that shit's always fun. Alright. Yeah, I I'd, I'd, uh, caught a couple... I was watching a couple other people streaming it. And uh, it seems, you know, it seems... Uh, well, it, it always... Those games always kind of seem <laughs> not that much different. Alright. I don't know if you caught that, the horse's name is Obelisk. Obelisk. Call him Obi. Damn kid changed the horse colors again. Good. 
Okay. One other thing to do. I didn't even, uh, I didn't even, uh, changed a few things. That's okay, I've got it actually memorized now, so. <laughs> I am Kirok. There we go. Good. Yeah, all right. Plunder into town here real quick. Yeah, um... Howdy! Damn. That is... That is a hell of a vehicle. Thank you. Oh, right on. Okay, so you can put it away in there. Learning something new. Uh, no. No, there aren't. You could probably RP that out, though, I'm big guessing. <laughs> I actually toyed with that idea uh, a little bit earlier today. Of uh, just, you know, rolling town to town kind of thing. Yeah, I'm looking for the, uh, the eventual return of the trains. You gods, man. Hey, you hit on that there. Would you mind giving me a bit of room here? No, I, okay. Well, Why are you picking on me? I don't, I don't know if I'd considered picking on you. I've wasted enough time on you already. You definitely have. Good day to you, sir. Fifteen minutes till restart. I mean, worked out good on that one. Figured we'd take a little break there when the uh, restart happens and then uh, uh, poke on out to uh, some of the other towns and whatnot. Um, I started the rumor of the idea of uh, squirrel boxing. That uh, somebody was uh, going to get a squirrel boxing league together. So, I think we might try pushing that again. Yeah, that's going to be part of uh, part of the thing. I got to come up with a better sport as uh, we go on. But yeah, the, remember the initial <laughs> the initial correspondence. He talks about the fact that um, that he had uh, heard a rumor at uh, the bar that uh, somebody was uh, doing turtle racing. Which, oddly enough, was a thing. <laughs> but then, of course, the celebrated frog of Calabas County, you know. 
which is, that's, I get to do a lot more Mark Twain reading, which is not a bad thing, but it's definitely something I want to incorporate into uh, the conversations. This was interesting. These are actually real objects. Or at least they were. And I ran into them the other day and they fell off there. Oh, there's one of them. thing on you there looks like a maybe a newspaper no no you get it stuck on your hand okay this is mainly what I wanted to look at is here Decay. stuff <laughs> it is open mm. nice Is there anything to borrow? This lamp. That's all I need. This lamp. 
on that accordion. And that's all I need. Very cool. minutes so this is one of the theaters here the relure uh, Fontana uh, Fontana theater uh, another one here in town, like right down the street. Um, well, it would probably just be easier to do this way. <clears throat> there is also one here. Here uh, in Blackwater, although it doesn't look like it's a it's an active one, but um, there's one right here, or maybe it's this building. But kind of a cool thing. I mean, it's an active building in the game. So, like I said, you can purchase it for 40k. And 
and uh, do whatever you want with it. kind of does <laughs> nice all right so yeah like i said uh we'll take a couple of minutes here and uh come back for a little bit more uh this one there it is Yeah, that definitely doesn't work out. Let's find another chair. To haunt. Although, now that I think that... Yeah. Let's do this. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, we'll take a minute here and uh, restart uh, after the uh, server reset. Yes, 40k is a lot of fish. I will agree with that. Um, but, uh, you know, still pretty cool. I mean, you're not going to make 40k back on it, like, doing plays, unless you really work at it. But, uh, still, you know, that's not too bad. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. Let me make sure I do this right. Bonjour. Bonjour. There we go. Um, but yeah, we'll take a couple of minutes here and uh, uh, take a little break. You guys, get up, walk around, get hydrated, and uh, we'll be back with uh, some more uh, HC dime novels uh, in uh, just a minute. Let's, um... Let's do that. Um... Perfect. Cool. Uh, so once again, thanks for joining me here, uh, for, uh, the, uh, HC... Dime novel issue number two. Uh, we're hanging out with Robert Stockton, gonna get into uh, some more stuff once we uh, get into the second half after a server reset here. And like I said, I'll, I'm gonna take about five minutes, uh, grab a few things, get to my coffee refilled, and uh, uh, whatnot. And then, uh, yeah, we'll jump back into it. So, again, thanks for joining me and uh, stick around. We got more coming up in uh, just a few minutes.
All right. We are back and uh, in queue. Kind of weird. Um, not sure what to, what was going on there, but uh, like I said, we're in queue. Well, that's good. Um, showing a pretty decent amount of folks that were uh, in. Yeah, right now there's 40 people in, and uh, about 18 of us waiting. Um, but uh, we'll get in there in a sec. Uh, once again, though, I did want to thank everybody for joining me uh, for the HC Dime Novels, uh, doing uh, the, uh, the little tale here of Robert Stockton. And uh, going to get into uh, hopefully some things here. We're going to meet uh, some folks and uh, just kind of mess around at this point. Um, I showed you the, uh, the cart and uh, probably going to take and uh, 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 purchase one of them. Um, in a little bit, I was uh, probably going to pick up the medium one and uh, kind of show you that. Um, wanted to uh, uh, go and uh, uh, kind of show a little bit of uh, uh, some of the other mechanics and uh, things that you can do in this world and uh, things that we'll be doing as uh, we go along. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. I was going to say, someone feed the black hole. Do not do that. No, we're not feeding the black hole tonight. That's uh, that's going to be a big no-no. Um, which, yeah, will be uh, maybe a little of a challenge. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Because uh, I'm not really sure what uh, the situation is there either. Uh, as far as uh, uh, what this reset has done. Uh, but let's see. Other than that, uh, while we're... Uh, going in for some time. Okay, good. Yeah, it's it. Usually the uh, the restarts take a little bit of time, uh, unless you're really on top of it. Like if you if you pop it like right after the uh, the top of the hour and get lucky enough to hook uh, the startup, then uh, it's not too bad. But uh, really, the the queue time is more a matter of uh, that uh, they drop. You know, they don't dump everybody in all at once. Uh, so, it doesn't usually take long. I mean, it's probably about 20 or 30 seconds per person. Uh, but, uh, you know, it moves along. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said, uh, they, they just bumped us up to 128 uh, on the server. Now, there's going to be issues and stuff like that, but the only way we fix those is by getting more people in doing stuff falling into the black hole uh you know those kind of things hey dude you know let's face it though going into the black hole wouldn't be too bad a thing you just get to hang out with maximilian a lot more you know and almost old bob god old bob there's a there's a character that uh that you could uh, <laughs> try to base a voice after. Man, that would be a rough one. It's definitely one of the things that I've gotten uh, much greater appreciation for uh, in uh, doing the uh, um, the uh, different character uh, voices. Because uh, one of the things that I ran into with Mr. Anderson is... Uh, it, it sounds good, you know, when I when I go back and listen to the VODs. Um, when I'm actually doing it, it's a little rough. Um, it, I, I'm not going to lie. And, and a lot of that, okay, a lot of that has to do with the fact that I need to uh, do a lot more voice work. Uh, so it's, you know, it's kind of one of those things. But uh, doing uh, Robert's voice is, uh, is not that bad. Um, it's very comfortable once I get to, once I get the pacing on it down a little bit more and, um, the, uh, uh the vocabulary is going to be tough. Uh, I can already see that, uh, just in how I'm going to work with it. Um, but the other part of this is, is that, uh, just kind of like, uh, a lot of the, uh, uh, 
the stuff that I've been kind of uh, researching for the character. Um, it's it's pretty interesting things um, that I can kind of bring into it. Um, I had mentioned it in the the, uh, the the threatening letter to the editor. Um, the uh, the very one of the very last lines is about him slandering uh, McKinley, uh, who is who is like it fit in so well because like McKinley was kind of kind of the 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 right wing sort of like everybody loved to hate him kind of guy um to the fact uh that uh, he he actually did not make it through his uh his full term in office um but that was a very different thing too it's kind of the other thing about this time period that uh, i guess i didn't really realize quite as much uh was uh just how uh how crazy uh the uh the culture situation was uh, very similar it's weird because uh like i said the other part of this too is is that uh, a big part of uh what's going on in far as journalism is concerned at this time is it's the rise of the the mega conglomerate f what f Am I still on? Are we good? Oh, F for McKinley. No. Yeah, man, McKinley. Whew. That's a... It was kind of a crazy... Like I said, it was kind of a crazy time. And that's what I'm really, like, looking to forward to uh, bringing into uh, some of uh, what I'm going to do. Uh, because, man, it is, like, the Hearst Empire is basically in full swing at this time um this is like the first big like information situation uh where what people uh, are basically informed about how they're informed about it uh creating like this weird group think uh setup and uh that's what makes this this whole thing like so great was the fact that uh, originally when I looked into it, it was like oh the dime novel and uh, you probably caught that there at the beginning and I, I think I'm going to use that for the beginning of, uh, of the uh, the uh, Robert stories uh, is uh, the tabloid uh, the whole <laughs> genesis of the word tabloid and it fits so well with this uh, this character and the situation and I don't know everything else there we go we hit it great all right we'll cross our fingers <clears throat> oh okay I see it's just a lot of scenes for some reason I'm downloading all of them Hundred and thirty one megabytes. Hey. There we go. There we go. So, okay, so one of my favorite things, and okay, this is, this might seem kind of weird, but uh, one of my favorite things about logging in in this game is the actual moment that you get in, and <laughs> I'd love to kind of share this. Uh, we'll give it a second here uh, to look. That's actually the live game server right there. So sometimes it's kind of fun to see things going back and forth across like the the bridge or you can see people or like down here there's a, a horse. Uh, it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, there's George. He's doing okay, I think. I don't remember where George is here. 
Um, but uh, we'll we'll get back to him one night one day. And in the meantime, we got Robert. And this is it right here. Okay, this is my favorite thing. Oh, it's going to be interrupted slightly. Well, either way. The actual moment in which you come into the game, drop out of the sky and onto the ground. I love it. I don't know what it is about that. But uh, that, that to me is... Uh, it's, it's just such a great little joy. Yeah, exactly. Program load, reality loaded and ready. Uh, okay, so, uh, yeah, probably the other thing that you noticed is, uh, uh, we're, <coughs> we're, uh, we've changed our outfit again. I thought, uh, as he gets in here, uh, this seems a little bit more fitting for him. And, uh. This will be kind of a, I mean, I'm going to, I'm planning on, you'll see. If you've ever, uh, if you've ever played any games with me before where you're given the option of outfits or being able to change or modify outfits. Yeah, we'll, we'll be doing a lot of this. Especially here. Because, man, they, they, they just give you everything. You have access to pretty much the entire catalog of stuff. Which is sweet. Uh, oh yeah, we need to um, we need to go get to get your horse. Yeah, so I love the theater. I love the idea of having the theater and uh, having access to it. I mean, not that I'd be in doing anything with it, but uh, somebody can. I'm going with the uh, the Homer Simpson for trash collector thing. Can't somebody else do it? So yeah, one of the things I am kind of bummed about with the um, uh, with the uh, outfit stuff is uh you can basically modify anything about it like you can take off the coat uh this even has like a being able to roll up the sleeves for your shirt um and you know obviously the other stuff like you can put up your handkerchief although this one's a little a little weird but okay whatever um uh so basically yeah you can uh, put on or take off any of the stuff that you have uh, do, do, do. Not more. Uh, yeah. So pretty much all the clothes that you have on, you can uh, you can remove them, or in this case, with the shirt, you can modify it. Um, but unfortunately, I can't get the uh, the goggles off. So I have to actually save a different outfit. And right now, the horses are really not cool with that. <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> I get a kick out of it because it's totally the uh, the uh, object permanence thing. Like, as soon as I get off my horse, you can save the outfits on the horse, right? Um, so, like, I have full sets of outfits saved on the horse, but as soon as you change it, like, the horse tweaks, and you are not the person you were before, and you are enemy number one as far as they're concerned. And you get kicked like almost immediately <laughs> when if you're standing in the wrong place when you uh, change your outfits. So yeah, it's a uh, <laughs> it's a little risque so far, <clears throat> but I do dig it. And uh, yeah, it, I'll just have to deal with the the goggles being on. It, I don't know. I guess it's kind of a look. Uh, the whole idea behind it was that he's going to be on his horse a lot. Uh, that's kind of, you know, running from place to place is, uh, kind of the idea I had for, uh, how journalism would be done. Bloop. Oh, uh, yeah, doing good. Doing good. Ah, ready to nice to hear. Oh, ready to nice head to out. Oh, what is going, sweetheart? I... I don't know. 
you know, uh, I, I I didn't get that far. I was going to come here and uh, mm. pick up the horse um, and then figure it out from there. Oh, wow. Very good. Well, very, very careful. There's some, some really cads and some right proper bastards around uh, robbing people. So do be careful, darling. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. Well, I'm sure you'll look after yourself. You're very dashing indeed. Oh, thank you. Um, thank you. Dashing. We'll go with that. All right. Yeah, it looks like the the boy changed the uh, the colors again. Damn it. Well, since we're gonna be traveling quite a bit with you, let's get this fixed now. Uh. Do 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 do. Oh. Right, stable boy. I shall need a horse to rent, please. To wait my time. Manners, yes. the man and woman, I say. Boy, the nice day, Jeff. Okay. Okay. Do you like some company, sir? Uh, yeah, sure. Let's, uh, you want to head over to, uh, Rhodes? Right, well, as I was there before, a couple of chaps uh, give me a little bit of ballyhoo, but that's all right. We can go back there. I believe it's quite dangerous there. Lots of bandits and bastards. Oh, uh, uh, really? really careful, o over in Rhodes? Yes, 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 indeed, sir. Yes, indeed. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Uh... Well, never mind. Should probably wait for daybreak. Anyway, it's not really safe to go out at night. Where's your little lady? That's for the lady. Oh, good point, good point. Yeah, yeah. The night, the night has many devils. The night has a thousand eyes. And I'm here because the circus is coming to town, sir. So really? if you know of anyone, or indeed yourself, who has any special skills for our big top performances over the next few months, do let me know. Hmm. My name is The Dame. The Dame. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that name, actually, uh, that, that sounds very interesting. I was uh, uh, just a little bit ago uh, taking a look at uh, the theater over there in uh, oh, yeah, in town. Yeah. What, a, what a beautiful building. Oh, it's very beautiful, sir. Very beautiful indeed. Reminds me of the ones I used to tread the boards on in London, New York, Paris, and Rome. Probably such as that. Oh, beautiful, yeah. Beautiful. Did uh, yes. the theater stuff. Yes, yeah, that's correct. It will be a circus big drop there. It'll be a big drop circus. In Valentine, possibly. I've got to find my manager. His name is Patrick the Magnificent. And I need to find him, but I can't locate him anywhere. Oh, well, excellent. That sounds, that sounds like uh, something to do. I would be uh, happy to help yes. you out with that, for sure. Oh, that'd be wonderful, wonderful. We're looking for people to help us in a manner of things, actually, whether they can perform, hand out posters, promotions, things such as that. Yeah. I'd be very happy for people to have you. Oh, excellent. You know. That uh, that works out quite well because uh, uh, mm -hmm. I actually, uh, uh, what I'm here for is uh, uh, yeah, a sports writer. A sports writer, <laughs> really? Well, sports. I don't know much about sports. Perhaps some other chaps and some gentlewomen can help you with that. But the arts, the circus, the big top is certainly something I know about. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, see, here's the thing, is is that yes. I get out here and uh, I, I find out that uh, there, there there aren't any sports. 
And uh, uh, I'm supposed to write should, about him. So well, why don't you start something up, sir? Yo. Be an entrepreneur, darling. Hmm? Well, yeah, but I'm also thinking, uh, you know, I, I could cover things like the circus. That would be great. Well, that's right, the circus or uh, bare knuckle boxing. I'm sure there's some people beating the bloody hell out of yeah. each other. It always is, darling. It always is. Yeah, Ask yeah. Around. That's exactly what I've heard. Is uh, there's around, at least sir. that kind of thing going on. And uh, Put plenty of other stuff. Up, dear. Yeah. Put a po poster up, dear. Put a poster up. Advertise services, darling. So should mm -hmm. we do? Mm, yeah. yeah that is I'll give you my post office box. Oh, excellent. Yeah, uh, Put one second. Put a paper on you. Right, show out the dame is what I go by. Five, five. Three, eight, seven. Excellent. Okay. Wonderful. The dame. Right. And your name? The dame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. My name is uh, Robert mm. Stockton. Robert Stockton. Charmed, That's correct. I'm sure. Very nice. Very nice to meet you, Mr. Stockton. Mm -hmm. Do be very careful. Lots of bastards around. You never know what's going on. Who's oh, this yeah. chap? Oh, 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 I can hear footsteps. Who's this? Hello, dear. Hello, darling. How are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, just, uh, just oh, yeah, we should get out of the way here. Town. Oh, yes, yes, we better get out of the way. All right, darling. Love you. Au revoir. Where to go? Where to go? Uh, well, you said you were looking for somebody. And, well, I'm uh, looking for Patrick the Magnificent, yes. He's a little okay. chap. He's a leader of the circus. But I know he's been in St. Denis. I just okay. spoke to a few people before the storm, and they said they saw him several hours ago. Okay. It was here. So perhaps he might be here somewhere. So I might trot about looking for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I'd be happy yeah. to, uh, to go around and uh, give you a hand with that. Well, you've nothing better to do, sir, than yeah. lead on, Macduff, lead on. Okay. Here we go. Ooh, look at that chap go. Right you are. Let's go, my dear. Yeah, yeah. Uh, come, come. One second. Let me, uh, let me grab something to eat here real quick. Oh, yes, I need to do that, too. But I don't have many funds, you see, where you oh. money to come through. Is well, it? I'll tell you what. I've got, uh, yes, I've got extra. I've got plenty. Uh, give me oh, a second. Really? Well, yeah, yeah. don't you know, go down to your last quid or your last penny, darling. And oh, no, no. Do that. Oh, lovely! Thank you, darling. You're so pleasant. Uh, no, I'm a bit of a, a bit of a pack rat. So, yeah, I've got uh, uh, tons Ooh. of tons of food. Oh, you're very kind, sir. I did ask a few chaps in Rhodes uh, for a few dollars, a few quid, a few pounds, and they said to me, a scrub and tug for five thousand. Very rude. I Good thought. lord, that I is don't rude. Do it for any, that's just very rude, sir. That I thought, and I ignored them. I thought about it for a moment. Then I ignored them. Very rude chaps, but I... They looked the type one didn't want to argue with, so I toddled off very quickly after the chap gave me his horse. No strange interaction, I thought. Anyway... Yes, that is odd. Very odd. I do wonder if they're up to skullduggery. They look the type. Well, yeah, I, I, you know, I've been around a, a little while, mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah, I've, I've definitely run into uh, stories of uh, mm -hmm. quite a bit of that going on lately. Oh, right, right. There's some good cover as well, too. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe I need to, uh, huff off the horse here. Oh, I don't know, darling. I don't know what you should do or be. Oh, I should get up as well, too. I do the same. Oh, oh, I still remember. Oh, well, that's, yeah, a, now. that's a beautiful King horse. King George. Stop. Oh, it's King George. Exactly now. Yes, sir. I yeah, that's a beautiful horse. It's a beautiful horse. Yes, I'm renting. It was $14. Hmm, quite a good okay. Steal. Yeah, that's not bad at all. Not too bad at all, as a dinosaur. Oh, I say, there's some more people. Wait, oh, hmm. Like. This is yeah, weird. Well, if you've got the horses in the ship, you should move them, dear. Let's stop them out of the way. These chaps can chap at these ladies and gentlemen coming by. Ah, oh, friends, hello. As you again, is it? What, what day, my darlings? What the hell is going on? Ooh, is this something for my circus? Oh, I say. What have we got here? Sure. Uh, yes, well, uh, perhaps, you know, uh, I could hmm, saw her in half. We're uh, trying to do something like that for the circus. Uh, although I know she wants a big snake wrapped around her. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I say. Oh, I say. Oh, hey, really? 
Miss Eve, do you, do you consent to that sort of stuff? Oh, of course you would, darling. She consent, I'm sure. You'll be cutting half, baby. Won't uh, hurt much. Oh, it's all sleight of hand, darling. It's all smoke. It's all mirrors. I wouldn't say it was successful. Goodbye. Right, let's get out of here. What are... <laughs> Asking me too many Understood. questions. Understood. Yes, yes, let's go. Right, let's go. We'll just go, shall we? Yes, Wait let's go. Wait for our next adventure. Ooh, I say. This way seems like a good way. Yes, I don't like these too many questions about the circus. You know, things go wrong. Understood. Can't Understood. Yeah, please. Can't the least info you give out, the better. Yes, right, exactly. exactly. Well, you know that as an agent of the press. I exactly. had wonderful rooms in reviews, the Globe Theatre in London in 1885. It was one of my best years I've ever had. Really? What have, uh, what have you been in? Oh, all of Shakespeare, darling. Shakespeare. Ah, excellent, yes, excellent. Yes, Shakespeare. Oh, 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 sorry, sir. Oh, that's okay. No problem. You need a good pace going here. I figured uh, we'd swing by Rhodes and uh, see, what, see what's over there. I just got to po I've got to use the ladies, sir. I do apologize. You can just keep a look out while I oh, yeah. no, have my fine. nose. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go. Excuse me. Well, here we go, chat. Looking for something to do. Um, yeah, I don't know what the deal is. This is just not letting me trade this. Uh, so I'll just have to hand them over. Uh, but uh, yeah, I do happen to have a, a bunch of bunch of stuff. Uh, right. There we go. Oh, right. Well. I'll tell you what. Here. Um, oh. oh dear. My dreadful on my bladder. These horses, you know, I'm not used to it. I'm used to carriages. Circus, circus carriages. Ooh. Oh, I got you. Uh, I don't know. Yes, I'm, I'm having uh, some kind of issue here. Mm -hmm. These keep sticking in my hands. So you know what? I'm oh, just going to take and uh, drop it down here. Oh, pop it on the ground, darling. I like it. I've, I've been known to bend over in my time more than just once, darling. Don't you worry about that. Oh, thank <laughs> you, sir, darling. Oh, I say. Oh, an orange is lovely. Yeah, that should, that should, uh, that Ooh, should cover that, you. Ooh. Oh, thank you, sir. Lovely, mm -hmm. lovely. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. Oh, that's an orange is very good. But pop that in my mouth. Right. Leave on the duff. Okay. You sure you want to go to Rhodes? They look a bit naughty there. Uh, Those chaps were there. One chap was scratching his buttocks for about ten minutes and then he burped. Wow. Oh, okay. I don't, well, I don't then, know if um, I could have you in the circus, I said to him. It's not really something, you know, would well, be it's an attraction, would you say, sir? Well, uh, let's see. If we're going to be like, uh, if we're looking for this friend of yours, uh, wh mm. where, where do you think he might have well, gone? I don't know. He's been insane to me. Right. That's all I know. No okay. one else has seen him. So that's hmm. really your guess is as good as mine, darling. So is he? Uh, uh, what, what, what is he doing at the time? Uh, what was it? I, they didn't tell me. He was looking for hmm. his assistant, which is me. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Well, you're you're right here. So yes, we I get half of the not. equation. Well, we've got half, and he's a little chap, so he's only really a half in those fools. So. Yes, yes. Right, sure. right. Okay, well, uh, yes, 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 let's see. Black water, I suppose, or something. Yeah, let's, um, yes, uh, what do you think? Uh, we should probably maybe, uh, mm -hmm. let's skip over roads. I mean, if you don't yes, think he'll I be guess. there, then, uh, uh why waste I our time? It. Yes, I know there's a couple of, uh, little, uh, nice little, little wagons there, but I didn't see him around, but it's hard to see his little chap. Where's a cape? Oh, uh, okay, uh, okay. Uh, about three foot, two foot, three foot, four foot. Remember, oh. little chap wearing a cape. Patrick okay. the magnificent. Uh, well, then we'll definitely be able to spot him. Uh, Ooh, I'm sure right. he will uh, uh, definitely uh, stand out yeah, amongst the crowd. The circus van. I don't know what he's done with the circus. That thing. I don't know what he's done with it. The spine of the man he is. Oh, really yeah, that's amazing. Yes, um, I don't know where he's put the bloody thing. Not a little man he is. Hello, darling. Oh, all right. We'll see you later. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm such a wag. I'm such a wag, you know. All right, well, let's okay. read on, Macduff. Let's okay. get to Blackboard yeah. or whatever. I I'm thinking uh, we'll uh, swing through... You're uh... going to be my uh, promotion. That was with promotion and reporting. Wonderful. You send me a telegram. Perfect. It's very good, and I shall report to Patrick the Magnificent. Oh, yeah, we chair. can uh, swing through Emerald Ranch. And, uh, Emerald Ranch? Oh no, I don't want to go there. No, no. Well, it's then, a ranch. Uh, I don't want to go to a ranch, but I don't think it's better to ranch, sir. No, It'd be more probably like to go not. To town, you see. Is I... Valentine any good at all? I went through Valentine yesterday. Okay. I thought about it. Hello, sir. Uh, yeah, we can head over to uh, Valentine. Uh, I was thinking in uh, Emerald Ranch you could uh, mm. telegram him or check your telegrams and see if maybe yes. he's uh, tried to contact you. Yeah, no, yes. You see, usually there's a little bird, a carrier, carrier pigeon, tells me. Just pops oh. on my shoulder, you see, and it hasn't popped on my shoulder, so. Ah, oh, circus. I don't think he has. Circus. I thing. don't think he can even reach the telegram area. This is the problem, you see. I don't know <laughs> okay, he okay. Well, then in that case, uh, Valentine it is. Well, I don't know. Is there something uh, I heard there might be some kind of illness in Valentine? Uh, Not yeah. Actually, mm -hmm. now that you mention it, uh, mm -hmm. I, I definitely, I, I couldn't even get close. Like, uh, I had started mm -hmm. out near there, and uh, I right, got to, right. I got so sick that I turned around and ran the other direction. Oh, my goodness me. So, yeah, maybe maybe not Valentine. Uh, Blackwater no, it is, no, then. No. That's... It'll have to be Blackwater, I suppose. I was there yesterday, shot a snake. Oh. And Marshall came along and said, What are you doing, lady? And I said, I'm shooting a snake. She said, Very well, continue on. Very good, very, very, very good. Very nice young lass. Very nice. Excellent, excellent. Mm, oh, I say, very much so. Oh, the swamps. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of a, a, a swampy sort of area. Uh, not too bad, though. Yes. I wonder if we could fit a big top tent up there at all. I don't know. Uh, boy, I don't know. Nice and spooky. Definitely a, a very, uh, a very creepy area to come through uh, late at night uh, by yourself. And that's what we're doing now. We're going through here late at night, just the two of us. Well, yeah, there's two of us, so, so. Well, that doesn't mean Plus the horses. Are. So you know, there's four of us here, really. Uh, well, right, there's four creatures, different uh, species. Yeah, yeah. Well. We uh, can head this way. I'm finally new, my dear man. I don't know my Yeah, yeah. My we'll uh, head over this way. Right, you are. Right, you are. I wonder if Patrick went uh, to the desert. Yeah, he goes well, everywhere. We do that's... travel, you know. That's our plan. That's kind of what I'm thinking. To collect people on the way. Yeah, is that uh, he's probably headed out west. And uh, mm. if that's the case, we can stop off in Blackwater. Right, and I get some information there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure, like you said, if he's been in town, the uh, folks there will let us know. Yes, that's right. I haven't met many uh, people from there. I don't know what they're like. Hmm, yeah. Yeah, I've only been through there a few times. Uh, I ended up uh, uh, mm -hmm. renting a few uh, uh, of the buggies. Uh, oh, I see. Tried those out. They're, uh, they're a lot of mm -hmm. fun. Oh, are they? Very nice. Yeah, well, yeah. It's, it's a good way self. to get around. Oh, I'm not a very good driver, unfortunately. Who is getting into trouble in London? Ah, uh, well... You know, bugging around. As long as you, you know, don't go too far up north, uh, ah, it's really yeah, not yeah. too much of a, a problem driving these roads. What do you mean by up north? What's up there, darling? Uh, well, it's, you know, it goes up the side of the mountains. So, you oh, know, there's well. some, uh, like, kind of tight spaces on the mountain passes and uh, snow, hmm. lots of, lots of snow. Oh, right, no, one would be absolutely stupid to do that, quite foolish indeed. Of course, <laughs> well, with the... Yeah, but for some reason, people do live up there. Well, of course, uh, oh, right, well, I suppose they take their horses up there, mm -hmm. travel, mm -hmm. not a lot of, I don't know if you get a buggy up there. I've not been there. Perhaps, uh, ooh, Circus of the Snow. Ooh, that could be another idea. When are you done, sir? You have no ideas, man. Yeah. I like it. I like it a lot. Yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that would, uh, like a, ooh, yeah. Yes. Circus in the Snow. Mm-hmm. Forget to, I need a secretary to take notes for me. Sit on the back <laughs> of my horse and take notes. Start to employ yeah. One. Yeah, that'd be great to have uh, mm. something like that. 
Ooh, surface in the snow. Ooh, I like it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yes. Imagine the atmosphere, the ambiance. Oh, well, nothing okay. could equal it. Well, now that you mention it, yeah, that, that would be uh, wonderful. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of that time of year here. So, uh, Ooh, yeah, that would be... Winter is coming, is it not, sir? Yes, it is. That uh, There was a couple of days ago. I was pretty sure I saw it snow it's actually snowing. Oh, I see. Oh, everything will be covered in snow. Beautiful, just like an old London uh, town. Yeah, it, uh, it's beautiful in the countryside when it snows mm -hmm. around here. Mm -hmm. Very nice in London, I want to tell you. All the shit and muck everywhere. <laughs> yeah, muck, well. Muck and grime, horse droppings, of course. General mm -hmm. Malay. I'm sure oh. one day it'll be much better. I should hope so. It'll be long gone. <laughs> Someone never knows. Yeah, so nice circus in the snow. I like that. I'm going to uh, tell Patrick the Magnificent about that. If you would like yeah. some of an idea. Yeah, that's an excellent idea. But especially, mm. you know, uh, around here, I think people really enjoy that kind of thing. Yes, yes, I hope so. I hope some people don't you know, be very rude about it. We well, try to bring something across the five states, some entertainment, some mystery, even the macabre. Whatever uh, that means. Patrick told me that. I don't know what he has an idea for that. Who knows? Probably throwing knives at someone or, I don't know, doing the old uh, shooting the apple on the lady's head. Well, uh, yes. Yeah, uh, those are always real big uh, crowd gathers. And, uh, uh, they also gather of a few more directors as well, too, my dear. Hmm. Good point. Mm. We don't talk about it, all right? <laughs> Understood. Yes, yes. Off the record. Yeah. Absolutely off the record, sir. If I see that in print, I shall sue you. To the civil, civil court and deny it. The press might be free, but I most certainly am not. <laughs> <laughs> well put, well put. Uh, well, let's see. I think we can uh, take a shortcut. Well, I like a good shortcut. There's any woman would. I uh, love this country over here. Oh, it's beautiful. It is lovely. It's like some of the north of England, the south of England. It's now too oh, yeah. very green, very green. That's what I've heard. But not rugged, you see. Certainly, they have this fog. So, we have the moors, of course. Of course, yeah. We have that, you see. Uh, Miss Bronte's novels are set, of course. Okay, let's see here. Uh, let me uh, let me check the map here real quick. Oh, is that tobacco there? Ooh. Uh, it sure looks like it. Ooh, it does, doesn't it? Oh, I say. What are they? Is this... Uh... No, it's not what I think it is. Okay, uh, yeah, we can head back this way. Uh, there's actually, uh, the, uh, uh, the ranch over, well, the farm, uh, mm. over z this way here. What do you mean? Which farm are you talking about? Uh, uh just, uh, the other side of the mm -hmm. Braithweed fan, I think? The other side of Braithweed, I don't know, what's the map? Let me get the map out there. Click the hall you're talking about. What are we going to do there, dear? Frolic? I'm not frolicking with you, sir. No, no. I'm very no, no. you. No, uh, you were talking oh, about dear. tobacco. And, uh, oh, tobacco. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yes. Yeah, there's a... Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. The, over by Caliga Hall there. Oh, yes. Well, but, you take uh, me there, darling. Yeah, we can run over there. We're headed kind of that direction anyways. Right, um, right, right. Right, King George, let's go. Right, right. Lead on, Macduff. We going right way? I don't know. I'm following you. All right, away we go. Oh, yes, tobacco. I've never picked tobacco before. Here's something new. You know, it's really neat. Oh, I see. It's really to... neat. Ooh, look at those. Little turkeys. They're good to eat. Yeah, those are going to be real popular here in another couple of days. Oh, I say. That's right, of course. Of course. It's uh, Thanksgiving, isn't it? Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, yeah. When you've got us Brits out. Uh... Yeah, well. <laughs> Hey, it's a uh, big feast time, you know? Oh, 
It doesn't really matter what where are you from. Oh, I see. Get prepped up for the long winter. Oh, yeah, that's like a coat. But uh, yeah, the, you can uh, you can actually uh, find the uh, tobacco over here, and then uh, there's a little place that you can uh, process it and uh, oh. make it to uh, whatever kind of thing you want. Oh, dry it out as such. Yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, let me make sure I'm headed to the right place here. That no, doesn't look like tobacco to me. What is this? Let me look. Possibly uh, yonder over there, as the medicine say, yonder. Yep. Yonder. Right in front of us there. Oh, in front of us. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no, I think this is corn. Looks like corn. Oh, corn. Yes, it is. Yep. Corn. Corn, wheat. One of those lovely things that sustain us. No, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. You can kind of get in through the back here. Oh. I see it up ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, that field over there. Oh, right here. Oh, oh. Oh, I say. Oh. I get the pick of it. I wonder who owns it. So yeah, if you take a look in there, you should be able to find some. Oh yes, yes, yes. just pull it out. Wonderful. Yep, yep. We'll pull it out, and then uh, the barn back mm -hmm. here behind us is uh, right, where you can yes, uh, yes. process it. Oh right, that's sure, that's sure. So yeah, they uh, they added all of this in here. Yeah, I did take a wrong turn at Albuquerque. This is like the classic example of why I need to make sure that I, I'm not dependent on the map, which I am clearly dependent on the map. Uh, okay, we got three tobacco. Is that your... I'll grab a few more because I actually have a bunch in the uh, on the horse. So it takes a little bit of time, but... Yes, uh, it does. It's very good. I like it. It's quite relaxing. Yeah, it actually is. And uh, mm -hmm. especially when you come out here in uh, the morning and uh, you can catch the mm -hmm. sunrise. And it's a beautiful sunrise here. Right. I should remember that. Circus of the Tobacco. No, that's not going to go uh, anywhere. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think that's no probably not, probably not, uh, not as good as the, the snow one. No, Circus of the Snow is uh, not a better idea. I should put that to Patrick. Yeah, yeah, and then you could have like a, a sleds or a, something like that. Oh, I don't know if we have any. I've not seen any. This is very relaxing, relaxing indeed. Can you sell this? I do, short of a few bobs, so um, that would be a good idea. Yeah, you can. You can. Um, it's a. I don't. I don't think it sells for as much at the stores, but uh, I'm sure, like you know, people would be interested because uh, we'll. No. Oh. When we get a when we get a chance here, we can head over to the barn, uh, back here. Oh, right, sure. oh, And right, sure. uh, yeah. we'll uh, take a look because uh, it's got uh, uh, some uh, processing stuff that we can actually oh. roll our own cigars and. Uh, oh, a cigar! Oh, really? Yeah, so oh, you could like roll your own cigars and sell them. Oh, well, I could smoke them, darling, too. Yeah, well, uh, it, right, yeah. I'd smoke a cigar. I've not had one in years. <laughs> <laughs> I think I shall do that, sir. 
Should ask the, the, the processing chat to do that for me. Yeah. Oh, well, that well, is yeah, oh, yeah, you, is it? Oh. Just bring it back here into uh, this barn here. And see, they've got uh, all of the uh, racks set up for you. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, I see a wonderful one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my Lord. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, what you, you, you do here mm -hmm. is uh, you take and cure it. And uh, oh, once right, it's right. cured, then you'll be able to uh, uh, turn it into either uh, smoking tobacco or oh, uh, the cigar wrappers. And then oh, uh, the cigar wrapper, in nice. order to make a cigar, you need uh, four of the uh, tobaccos and one wrapper. Where do I get the wrapper? Oh, right. Yes, I see. I see yep. the, the process. So I have to I have to process a wrapper. I have to process Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so, like I said, there's uh, some uh, work involved in it. So, you know, you could sell that to people. And uh, I'm Ooh. sure they'd pay quite a bit. Especially, you know, like if you had, uh, say, the special circus cigars or, or something. Oh, yes. I wonder what... Oh, there we go. See? Yeah. Circus, circus of cigars. Cigar. Circus of cigars. <laughs> well, okay. And not all the ideas think, are winners. Yes, yes. I don't know about that one, sir. <laughs> yeah. I have to put that one on the wayside, I think. Well, that's what an editor's for, you know? Oh, well, indeed. Yes, yes, yes. I, I wish for some editors in my day that were kind of, for that to say. Understood. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy, the, uh, I, I always hated hanging out with the theater journalists. They were just oh. ter terrible people. Oh, dreadful, dreadfully, dreadfully jealous, you see. Mm -hmm. I have to mm -hmm. write about it because they can't perform, that's why. Well, yeah, uh, they're like uh, those monsters under the bridges. I know, yes, okay, well, I, uh, absolutely. Okay, uh, yeah, once you get it all cured, uh, mm -hmm. then you can uh, switch it to the, uh, the smoking. And, oh, but uh, I have to make a, 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 a wrapper, don't I? Or what, 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 what? Yeah, you you also can uh, make wrappers. Uh, I think uh, oh, the right. uh, the machine or the uh, the process is like over right, here. Right, right. But I have I'm, I'm, the process is curing it at the moment, and then it's uh, then I can wrap it. And, uh, exactly. So, oh, dear, is that rain? Oh, I yeah, it's starting to rain. Mm. What 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 happens if it's smoking tobacco? Nice little cigarette, do I? Uh, you can actually uh, buy purchase pipes at uh, oh, the stores. Oh, right, right, of course, of mm -hmm. course. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right, that's uh, right. that's actually what I have, and uh, uh, yeah, they're re they're real nice. Uh, I do like a good pipe. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think I'm fabulous with a pipe in my mouth. Yeah, exactly, and uh, you know that that would be uh, again, you know, especially being in the circus, you want to uh, you know, uh, be memorable. And, uh, oh, absolutely. absolutely. It's yeah. like my monocle. Look at my monocle. Fabulous. I know. I like it. Crescent I, I, moon on there. I was gonna. I was gonna comment. I love the monocle. That's such a oh, nice you, touch. Sir. Oh, it's a perfect touch, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I used to have mm -hmm. a dresser back in the day, but I'm doing it all myself now. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, this is a uh, good stuff. Oh, is that rain I hear? Yeah, it started raining a few minutes ago. Oh, I see. Well, I just as well we're undercover. Although it uh, <laughs> doesn't look like it's going to be uh, raining for long. I hope not. Oh, very good, this place is in plan. Very good indeed. Oh, I'd love a lovely nice glass of gin. Haven't been able to find gin anywhere. Oh yeah, Very annoying. yeah. They, they, it, you can't find. Well, they they don't uh, they don't have uh, real good distilleries down here. Yeah, well, hopefully soon, brandy, oh, yeah. rum, gin. I hope that will soon be. Yeah, well, at least while I'm here, we won't be staying. We'll be traveling for a few months and moving on. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, that's you know a, a circus type of thing. I mean, I, hmm. I guess you get a lot of. Very similar to what I do. Uh, you, you get a lot of travel in. Oh, absolutely, yes, yes. I've been traveling all my life. All my life. That's Since excellent. my mother pushed me upon the stage when I was three years of age, I was born to it. Oh. my blood. Yeah, that is... Uh, that is, isn't it? That's, a, that's quite a lifetime, though. That's quite a lifetime, and now I'm no young woman. Despite oh. what my passport says, don't quite understand, but never mind. 
Because I'm 18 years of age. I can assure you, sir, I'm certainly I'm not 18 years of age. Yeah, I, I noticed that. Mine, uh, mine keeps, uh, it keeps doing that. That is strange, indeed. I, I, you know, I, I attribute it. I attribute yes, it to the, uh, the the stable hand over at the uh, stables there, because right, right, he keeps right. redying my horse's uh, mane and tail, and I know the I know the little bastard is sneaking in and changing my <laughs> identification too. Good lord, probably. Uh, I know sometimes my horse has no tack on it. Very annoying. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, and. I, I, you know, I, I get this uh, this really nice uh, uh, horn that I bought for it, and mm. uh, it keeps disappearing. And oh. sure enough, the, I, I'm pretty sure the kids got it. But oh. uh, you know, I, I bring it up to the manager, and uh, he doesn't want to hear anything about it. That's good enough. It's not good enough at all. <laughs> all right, there we go. Oh, are you on able to go. get him uh, taken care of? You got cigars. I've got to, no, I've got some uh, some tobacco in my pockets. Pop okay. In my pockets. Okay. I, I think the, I think the pipe is a good idea. Yeah, so yeah. Was, I, I like it. it so it's got a, a a real nice touch to it. Hmm. I think so. Too. Right. Okay. Onward. Lead on, McDuff. Yeah. Oh. oh. Whereabouts are you from, in America, sir? Quite a nice, uh, like tone of voice. I like that you're talking. Oh. Uh. Uh, well, I'm kind of kind of from all over the place. Uh, oh, right, that's right. When I was uh, when I was a kid, I grew up in uh, Michigan. Uh, oh, right, Michigan. Yeah. Yep, yep. And then uh, uh, I went to college at uh, in New York. Oh, right, yes, right, I've been to New yep. York. Wonderful. Uh, yeah, well, it, it's it's got its charm. Uh, yes, you know, big and then, uh, that's why. Yeah, and from there, you know, I got out to school and. Uh, uh, Got uh, kind of this job working with this uh, dime novel. Oh, dime novels! I yep. do enjoy that very much. Yeah, though, yeah, indeed. exactly. I, I, very I loved them. So. Loved them as a kid. So oh, you know, absolutely. it was kind of a dream job. But uh, oh, unfortunately, with the with you know Hearst and the uh, the whole Hearst well, uh, newspaper yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. Oh, that's nice. oh, that's yeah. yeah, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. So needless to say, they've kind of watered down most of that stuff, and uh, uh, I've got this friend that uh, owns this uh, dime novel, and uh, mm -hmm. he wanted me to uh, come out here and uh, uh, start, you know, reporting on sports, because I guess, I don't know, they think that uh, people want to read about it. Yeah, well, I, and, I think it would be wonderful if the government could, uh, you know, have a dime novel, novels here. Have yeah. them limited edition, only three pages or so. They don't need to be nice and the big and thick like yeah. the other ones. Just three pages, and they should reflect stories that have happened across the, the states. I think it would be fantastic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, you know, uh, the big thing too is is that there's there's a lot of uh, folks that I've met around here that uh, mm. are, are quite artistic. And, uh, yes, indeed. You know, uh, that's a big part of the dime novels is uh, you Very know having much so. having yes, good yes. art. The, the front cover in particular, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very important. I think it could be done. I think it could be done. Now, which way are we going, my dear? Uh, I think we got to head this way. This is, uh, left or right there? This way. Are you? Uh, one ticket. Uh, no rush, sir. No rush. Okay, yeah. We're, we're going to get... We're gonna uh, go this way to uh, avoid uh, running into roads. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah that seems like a seems like a good idea. Well, but you're going to need a couple of wagons for the circus. Oh, uh, yes, yes, circus. absolutely. We do have circus wagons, absolutely. Oh, okay. We have a, a number of things to keep the animals in as well, too. We treat them well, we feed them. Their animals who have been hurt 
if someone has done something dreadful to them so we we bring them back to being in good health and we take care of them and feed them and give them much love so well that's excellent that is a, a really great to, that's a really yeah, great yeah. service you're doing for them it's, it's well, super yeah. important because boy i'll tell you people around here don't uh, quite Very get that cruel, are they? Mm. well a little bit yeah a little bit but you know yeah, people are people right. there there's really not much you can do about it this is true run into a lot hey, of uh, uh, people that are more savage animal than anything else uh, even savage animals is in their nature humans mm -hmm. choose i believe unless there's something that's not quite right and they'll tick tock in the brain then they get excuse really yeah well that, they want to. that definitely plays out quite a bit around here lock them up and throw away the bloody key I should probably <laughs> I know I know my lion would say likes to like a good likes a good meal <laughs> wow a, a real lion well they have a lion so is that what do? wow that's yeah I'll bet that's that's ferocious huh and a bear it's beautiful and big bears and, and zebras as well too oh excellent oh yes, yes wonderful, wonderful. yeah yeah that that sounds uh that sounds like a lot of fun I, I'm Really sure people around here are gonna enjoy that. Well, oh. I hope so. You know, uh, it's good when people collaborate with one another. It's very Indeed. important. Indeed, it's very important. But, you know, some people are very snobbery about this type of thing. It's not good enough for them or whatever. It's about entertainment. For heaven's sake, this is the Wild West. Haven't they heard of Buffalo Bill and exactly. his circuses? They're absolutely and completely, utterly famous right across every state in the country. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. Calamity Jane. Oh, fabulous. Fabulous yeah. stories. Yeah, actually, uh, that was uh, one of the dime novels that uh, that I had oh, as yes. a kid, was uh, Calamity Jane. Ooh, wonderful. Yeah, dude, great stories, and uh, the pictures oh. were just wonderful. Oh, I do love illustrations, it's wonderful. Mm -hmm. I've never gone with the pen and paper myself. The oh. words sound good for Pen and paper, no. No, never had that talent. Yeah, it's uh, it's definitely something that uh, that uh, folks work hard at. Mm, very much. Uh, I think we can go this way here. Uh, I think there's a ledge right here. There it is. Okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, you got it. You got it. Excellent. Excellent. Nicely done. I love the open spaces out here. Oh, very much. Very different to what I'm used to. Oh, yeah. Big cities. Yes. London and Rome, Paris, New York. Very big cities, very bustling, very dangerous, of course, you know. They've still not caught Jack the Ripper. I doubt they really? ever will. No, they've not Damn. caught him in uh, Whitechapel. Brutal man, brutal. Yeah, yeah, well, you know, I think uh, uh, people are are fascinated by that stuff. Oh, absolutely. I hate to say it's entertainment, it's but uh, it passes for entertainment. Very much so, it does. Very much so, the tabloids there had field mm -hmm. days with it. Frightening yes. time and Whitechapel, very dangerous place indeed. Oh, what a lovely land it is. Yeah, I always love coming over this mountain here, and then uh, this road is such a beautiful road. I've never been this path before, sir, I thank you. Oh, indeed, yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I uh, trained the horses quite a bit. And uh, I usually go like very slow, you know, mm. and uh, you know, so that uh, that they can uh, get used to me. And uh, boy, you get to see a lot more than uh, when you're racing through the area. Oh, people racing here and there. Mm -hmm. Some of them in the carts and carriages, really going to kill somebody. They never trouble. Oh yeah, yeah. You steer clear of the carts and carriages, people. Oh lord, bloody mad. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But uh, yeah, especially this area, uh, hmm. if you're lucky enough to come through here uh, at late, late at night and uh, it gets real misty, 
uh, and, oh, uh, I see. yeah, it, it's, it's a really, uh, really nice area. It's like pea soup, like London fog, like pea soup. Um, yeah, it, it doesn't seem to be as thick as, like, uh, uh what, uh, mm. what, uh, people have described with that. But, uh, boy, sometimes it can get, uh, it can get really, uh, uh, very, uh, very intense. Can you see your hand in front of you, sir? Uh, yeah, you know, yeah, I guess it's not that bad. It's always funny because, like, uh, if you, uh, if you, uh, pull out a lantern, uh, you actually, mm -hmm. it's harder to see. Really? How fascinating. Okay. Yeah, one second here. Uh, oh, there you are. Where are we? So I've got a sort of sign here somewhere. We get rid of these tracks. There we go. Someone barreling through, of course. Barreling through. Wasting Get important cost. places to be. Oh, well, I can't see where. I don't think it's Jungle <laughs> first. Oh, oh. This is another spot right here. I always love this path. Uh, this tree over on the left is a beautiful old tree. Sadly, I suppose, in a few decades, this area will be totally, totally gone through. The new industry coming through. Uh, yeah, probably. But, you know, anyway, that's, that's progress. That's uh, the American way. At least that's what they tell me. Yeah. Indeed. Yes, I, someone asked me if we could shoot someone out of a cannon. Not quite sure, but I'd be like to do it. Oh, well, that does sound like it would be very entertaining. Uh, well, not if you're in the cannon. <laughs> true, very true. Yeah, good point. Uh, need to find a strong man, I think. Hmm. Yeah, that would be not a great. The, uh, one of those big chaps, but usually they're quite stupid, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, you know, you'd be surprised what you can find when you look for it. Hmm. And when you don't. Oh, where was I yesterday? Strawberry. That was lovely in Strawberry. Oh, boy, that is a magnificent little town. Lovely little hamlet it is. Lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the uh, the waterfall going through the center of town oh, is so wonderful. It's beautiful. Very beautiful indeed, actually. Nice and peaceful, too. I, I would highly recommend if you're uh, having problems sleeping, you can get mm -hmm. a really good night's sleep there. Just uh, get that hotel room that's uh, right near the water. Right. And, uh, oh, boy. It is uh, something old. Hmm, good thinking. I might end my journey there after we're done. Oh, good point. Yeah, yeah, we could head up that way eventually. Uh, this is another great little valley here. Mm. Uh, wonderful little sunsets. Mm. The uh, the way the lighting comes through this area is just a, a magnificent. I do a lot of fishing around here. Right. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Yes, yes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And uh, this uh, this like mountain up in ahead of us right here, mm. up on top of that, is a really nice place to uh, to uh, watch the sunset, or even the sunrise for that matter. Lots of hidden spots. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it's kind of one of the things you do sometimes when you're trying to to like uh, get inspiration to write. Hmm. Yeah, this inspiration must be found where it can be found. Mm hmm. Exactly. But when it comes, it's like a freight train. Oh, yes, indeed, I agree. Uh, hmm, one second. Hmm. I think, I think again. Good, yeah, that's what I thought. Hmm. This is a, this is the right way. Oh, very good, sir, sir. I'm starting to get a little tired, sir, I can't deny. Yeah, yeah, well, that's part of it, and uh, we we want to kind of uh, make sure that we're, we don't uh, get lost and uh, end up mm. where uh, the wolves show up. 
Oh, right. Ooh, I wonder if I could tame some for the circus. Uh, I, I would, uh, I would have somebody else maybe help you with that. No, no, it's not a bear. Well, Patrick would probably help you with that. Oh, yeah. He, he sounds like he might be able to help. He's in charge of everything. He's the MC. He's in charge. Circus manager, everything. Well, we that's going to be a lot of work. Way. Well, we hope to uh, find people with special talents on the way. Right. We seem to lose people in our troop, unfortunately. Various things happen, and uh, you know, people have to leave and come and go. That's the life of a traveling show person. Yeah, that's exactly. Happens. It's not an easy life. Not at all. But, certainly uh, not, sir. Certainly not. The rewards are uh, uh, very personal. Oh, it's in the performance, sir. In the performance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The crowd begging for more. The applause, oh. Indeed. What's your name again, sir? I do apologize. Oh, that's okay. It's, uh, Robert. Robert Stockton. Robert. That's right. Robert Stockton. Robert Stockton. I should Indeed. remember that. Robert uh, Stockton. Uh, boo. You know what? Um... This is Valentine here. Yeah, we, we want to uh, head this way, actually. Yeah, so Valentine. Okay, we're going this way, are we? Oh, no, which way? It's Valentine? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, it, it's uh, this way. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't know if we want to go towards Valentine. Oh, uh, is there still some kind of illness there? Uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, I don't know if I want to find out. Mm, I understood. Oh, oh, oh. The horses like each other. Let's go this way. That's where I made my mistake. And head across the water here. Yeah. How long have you been doing the traveling circuit? Oh, my goodness, for years and years. So. Really? Years and years, yes, absolutely. Have you uh, taken it to other states before? Oh, yes, yes, yes. We can't mm. just come back for an extensive tour of the East. Oh, uh, okay, okay. So we packed up all the wagons and away we went. We thought, well, let's head west, shall we? Let's see what's there. Wait, that's got to be fascinating. Oh, all, absolutely. All the sir. people you meet. Oh, very much so. You meet all kinds, as you well know. Mm -hmm, Pick mm -hmm. people up on the way. They decide to stay in another another place, another town or city. Very interesting. Can sometimes be a lonely life as well, too. Well, yeah. Quiet but... times. Yeah, but again, you're at least able to meet people. It's true. It's really true. <coughs> I know a, I have a friend of mine that uh, he does surveying. Oh, so, right. yeah, he's out, he's out in the, the deep woods all the time. And, uh, oh. yeah, you... You know, he doesn't see people for weeks on end. Hmm. No, I need people in my life. I'm very much a social creature. Hmm. Yeah, well, that's definitely a, definitely a good profession for you, then. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, uh, you know what? Give me one second here to uh, get this. Mm -hmm. I think we're heading in the right direction, sir. Should we go around uh, yep. yonder? Uh... Yep, I just wanted to, uh, just in case, make sure this is ready. Right, you are. Yeah, I'm just in case. Well, I'm not very good at it, but anyway, I'm really good at it. Shoot it up on someone's head. Yeah, well, I don't usually, I don't usually, uh, you know, try to take them out. I just try to scare them away if possible. And uh, eh, loud noises do it. We 
can actually, yeah, we can head up to the right here. All right, then I'm over here it might be good, sir. You got it. Yep, that's definitely it. Bar of sorts. Yeah. yeah, I think it's uh, owned by somebody though. Ah, right, you are. Yes, yes, I believe. Many properties is for sale or sold. Mm -hmm. This is the thing also, too, when you travel, you just have your wagon. You don't have to worry about that rubbish, spending tens of thousands of dollars in property. Yeah. Nothing to upkeep. Yeah, that's great. That's a. Uh, you that's... have to bother with any of that. Pretty much how I, I live, you know, the, uh, the, uh, paper pays a... for it. Mm. And now this is looking familiar from yesterday. Yep. Uh, we're in remember. the right place. Now. Basically head around the, uh, the right hand side here. Uh, yeah, but basically, yeah, the uh, the newspaper right. pays for it, and uh, you know, I just live in mm. hotels. Right, that's really good. All expenses paid. Ah, some signs, yeah. That's what I like to get in the contract, but uh, you know, mm. they like to say things, and then when mm. you actually get the check, that's a different story. And unfortunately, you don't get paid for that story either. Like coming around this way. Hmm. Yes, I think I might go to bed, sir. After this, I'm becoming very weary. Understood. Travel does weary me on a horse. Yeah. Carriage is different, you know. I can have a little sleep while Patrick drives. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, but I'm all weary. Right before. Well, hopefully we'll run into him there, maybe in oh. Blackwater. I hope so. Otherwise, you perhaps just ask around for me, Mr. Stockton. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do go. for sure. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, I've got your uh, your PO, so I'll be able yes, to uh, send it to you there. Oh, I would love it. Love to be nice. Yeah, looking for people such as yourself to promote, etc. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah, you know, I'll be riding around anyway, so it'll so. work out good. And, uh, yeah, uh, I'm sure you're going to have, like, posters and stuff like that, so I'd be oh, able well, to put uh, those well, up. Well, actually, we'll be asking people as we go if they could possibly help us with that. Yeah, I could do that, because, uh, like I said, uh, kind of uh, what my job entails is, uh, you know, basically riding around and trying to find uh, sports, mm -hmm. or at least I think I'm just going to start writing stories, you know, and uh, see where those go. Mm -hmm. go it is a dime ahead. novel after all, so... Oh, wonderful, wonderful. I could do one on the circus, really. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm thinking is... Uh, Wait, uh, just in talking with you, I can see that, uh, that we could e easily easily do a couple of thousand words just on uh, you oh, alone. And, uh, well, no, no, it must be Patrick the Magnificent. He is right. the leader of the true Arthur. I'm just merely his assistant, sir. Well, well that's what I'm saying is, uh, you know, just you alone is 2,000 words. He's probably like, a, you know, a whole novel. Well, quite like possibly. He's got a very checkered background, that's for sure. Well, he sounds like a unique individual. Oh, he's got a cape, so what more do you yeah, need to know? He has exactly. a cape. Exactly. He has a cape. I, I hate to say it, but I'm a little envious. Oh, that, that would be a bow you too. <laughs> got a cape. 
You exactly. can see it blowing in the wind. As the wind blows, it's, it's wonderful, sir, I can tell you. Oh, Isn't but, it wonderful? Oh, but, yeah. Oh, exactly. Nothing like it. Absolutely. Oh, finally, we're here. Yep. Very we made it. My yeah, it was a long was haul. We, you know. It was. The no, trip we didn't from get rock so far, so it's good. Yeah, the trip from the San Didi to here is always mm -hmm. uh, kind of a long one. Very much so, so very much. So. But uh, yeah, we didn't we didn't exactly come through straight through either. So. Oh, that's all right. We didn't get robbed or any any blackguards or such around. Exactly. Us. Yep. Pirates. Yep, that's... That's always kind of how I look at it, is if uh, I get lost or uh, out of, uh, go out of the way and uh, nothing happens, then uh, I probably oh, yeah. missed whatever it was if I went the way well, I was supposed well to. Job well done, sir. Job well done. Exactly. Oh, I suppose I should stable this horse. Yeah, Find we can uh, bring it over to the right here. No, we town spell. There we are. There's a couple of chaps talking in the corner there. Oh, it's autograph hunters, no doubt. Always being asked for an autograph. It's very annoying after a while. I can bet. Yes, the same question now. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Oh, really? No, sir, I will not give you... No, sir, no autograph. Even him, no, the butcher. How many times have I told you, Sam? No <laughs> autographs. Sam. Oh, really, honestly. Is that Sam? Good evening, sir. It is Sam. Good evening, sir. Hello, madam. Howdy. Him away, look after my King George for me. Oh, oh my buttocks. Oh, let's see here. Uh, before I put uh, Obi away here, um, did you, uh, do you need some more oranges? Mm -hmm. or, oh, uh... I should, I should be okay, sir. Okay. Hopefully I should probably go and catch some turkeys or something, my little knife or whatever. I get you. Yeah, yeah, I guess I've got, uh, I've got that. And I've also got some apples, if uh, you're interested oh, in no, those. No. They're quite well, delicious. I'm fine. Thank you, sir. I'll be fine, you know. Apple a day doesn't necessarily keep the doctor away. You say it does, but I don't know about that. I understand. I understand. Well, Mr. Stockton, thank you very much indeed for your pleasant company. Please send me a message, a telegram. I'd very much like to see you and talk with Patrick about you. Okay. Yeah, I'd be happy to do that. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I should be, uh, uh I'm, I'm guessing, uh, around tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, I appreciate right. it. Oh, very good. Well, just send me some correspondence. Will do. Thank you, Will Mr. Do. Stockton. You have a good night. Will do. Bonsoir. There we go. Just like that, we're on the trail of the circus. Hey, why did you not? What are you doing here? You're supposed to have disappeared. There he goes. Oh yeah, that's what it was. Trying to process all of that and almost almost forget to eat. So yeah, we picked tobacco. I get a chance to uh, kind of show you how that works. And uh, also uh, me if you work. Boom. Excuse me. Definitely going to remember to uh, send him a letter, because I have a feeling we can uh, we can get involved in that. And like I said, that's good. That's good novel material there. Like that was the whole. Uh, if you didn't catch it, the whole subtext of the stream was the novelist, and uh, yeah, putting together a, a book about the circus. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. You know. It was a kind of a chaotic way to get here, but we got here. 
And like I said, I have actually kind of found that uh, sometimes if I go and have a uh, go this way or go that way uh, choice, it uh, it ends up that uh, if I would have gone one way, it would have been bad. So I get lost for a reason. Sometimes it's because I'm not paying attention. And sometimes it just is. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. There's pipe. So yeah, this is the pipe. This five ninety nine for a pipe. And uh, that tobacco that uh, we picked, it's five cents a thing. So, I mean, you know, you're not going to make a ton of money by picking tobacco and processing it. There we go. Um, what was it I wanted to do? There's something else I wanted to do. Let's see if there's any soup. Hey! Gonna have a bowl of stew. Good lord, where all you people come from? Well, this is the crowded, most crowded, silent bar I think I've ever seen. Yeah, I, again, dude, I, 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 like I said, sometimes that's just kind of how it happens. And uh, yeah, sure enough. I was talking about the theater thing, and uh, look what I run into. Oh, hey, yeah, we gotta go catch this. But uh, yeah, that was very cool. Uh, very happy to uh, have run into her. The dame. Because, uh, yeah, I, I happen to know that... Uh, that uh, yeah. We want to run into them. And like I said, it'll kind of work out perfect. He's, uh, he, he totally can fit in with the circus idea. And, uh, yeah, why not? It's no cabaret, right? But... Not so much a table as, as a, your bench is waiting. Right? At least that's what I remember the circuses that I went to. Alright. Tell you what, Chet. Let's see how this turns out.
Fair enough. Here comes the snow. All right, so like I said, here comes the snow, and uh, this is uh, going to this is going to be this is like okay for me this is like winter for real for real seas. Uh, basically because uh, the community had the opportunity, and this is one of the things that I really enjoy on PRC is uh, they're very big in being involved in the community. Uh, it's a huge part of the reason why I, I really uh, I thought this would be a great place for um, this character to uh, get started. Um, mainly because uh, it, like I said, they they they're real big on uh, uh, working with the community to uh, do some of the stuff. And one of the things that they did uh, beginning of October ish, it might have been the middle. Uh, they put up a poll on Discord asking us uh, what, uh, how we wanted to play out the winter. Did we want no winter whatsoever? Uh, did we want uh, a little bit of winter? You know, uh, did we want a real long, like, winter? And by real long, I mean basically two months of winter. And uh, the community pretty much overwhelmingly voted for uh, the long winter, which... Um, uh, is what it is uh, <laughs> I'm just saying I'm just saying I, I, I remember in the online uh, playing uh, this online when they did it in uh, December for like a couple of weeks and it's cool I get it I totally know why people want to do that and uh, I, I kudos to them <laughs> but uh, for me maybe not so much hey Trin Trincara? Trin Trincara. Break out the fan system beasts! Thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, thanks for uh, joining on in. Oh, hey! Uh, right on, right on. Uh, that was a lot of fun. I'm, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's very cool. 
Um, I, uh, I was kind of hoping to run into you or somebody of the circus. And, uh, super excited when, uh, when we get into, uh, talking about it. Because, like I said, I think it fits in really well with, uh, George. Or not George. Damn. Robert. George is someplace else. Um, but, uh, yeah, that was a lot of fun. And, uh, I, I really do appreciate it. It was, uh, uh, good stuff. Yeah, that's, well, that was, I was, I was working on that. Uh, uh doing that a little bit more, uh, with it. And, uh, man, uh, the, um, I, I, once again, I do apologize for kind of getting lost there. But, uh, I was also, uh, like I said, uh, a lot of the time that ends up, especially when, when, uh, I've seen the, uh, the things that happen on the server where I don't go, is usually there's a reason that I, I kind of, like, I don't know, instinctively get lost. That's very cool. Yeah. I actually, okay, here's the thing, is, is that I, I, earlier I saw, uh, Ewok's, um, uh, character. Uh, doing his thing and uh, that was kind of the reason that I jumped in was because I wanted to uh, at least uh, somehow like see if there was something that uh, that was around uh, with it like if you guys were doing anything and uh, it uh, it totally ended up being a kind of a coincidence that uh, that I ran into you there because I was actually planning on heading out uh, to uh, uh, do some stuff kind of showing off the fishing uh that uh, <laughs> that i've picked up and i've also i'm tinkering around with the carts and stuff right now uh so I'm, i was trying to like basically that's what i was going to do and uh yeah it just so happened that uh that i was like at like i said i had the my plan was to take my horse out and then figure out what happened uh or what i was going to do next on the stream and uh man that was uh that was like perfect timing uh which is really weird because it, just before that uh before server reset i took everybody to uh go look at uh, the theater and uh, in town there and man that is such a beautiful building and uh it would be very cool if uh people could get into uh, uh, like if we could get into and do stuff with that and uh um and uh, like I said, coincidentally, I, I noticed that uh, that he was uh, setting up the circus thing, and uh, I, I was exactly kind of like, "Wow, okay, that's this is a weird sort of moment." So I have to jump on this and just go along with it. And uh, yeah, that was very cool. Um, and actually, that was kind of one of the things I was thinking is is that uh, that uh, you know maybe not exactly this character, but I would be happy to uh, see if I can put together something for it. Um, and, uh, uh, maybe even create another character, uh, to do circus stuff, because that's a great idea. And I love the, uh, well, here it is, the snow, um, is obviously going to be a big part of, uh, anything that you guys are going to do, uh, with it. And, uh, yeah, this could be, a obviously a, a, a very nice little thing. Um, yeah, that was, well... That was that was totally it. it was is that uh, I you know I kind of wanted to do it, but at the same time, since I I was also like cursing the fact that I actually knew what was that it was out there. Um, but uh, again, here's the other weird thing is is that I was running into uh, Valentine uh, to start the stream because I like park basically just outside of Valentine in that stable that's over there, and uh, I was on my way in and. Uh, uh, I, uh, I got, like, right to the edge of the town, and there was a whole bunch of, uh, basically riderless horses, and I was like, oh, crap, and as soon as I got there, as soon as I thought that, it crashed, and I couldn't, it took me, like, three or four actual restarts in order to get far enough away that it wasn't a problem, so I wasn't even actually planning on going, uh, over to San Denis, uh, to start things off with, but that was where I ended up. Because uh, I had to, I was telling chat that basically it was like a black hole over there. And uh, you're, you know, you're basically your RP and stream are going to get sucked up into restart black hole. 
Uh, so it just kind of worked out that, uh, yeah, I was over in that area. Um, and, uh, yeah, like I said, I, 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 I've, I've really kind of found that it's, uh, it actually was quite, quite funny because, uh, that is kind of, uh, what he's, uh, here to do is, uh, cover anything. Um, and the whole sports thing is just a great, you know, yeah, there is no sports here. I, I kind of knew that. He comes in, uh, and he's supposed to be, uh, looking for the, uh, uh, information on the, uh, National League baseball team that, uh, San Denis was supposed to get, which was never going to happen. Uh, it's just not, not something in the game mechanics. Uh, and, uh, that was totally the whole point was he was going to get stuck here or end up out here just because he was on the lead to a terrible story. Um... And uh, this thing, yeah, there's horse racing. That's exactly it. Is is that I can cover things like horse racing and whatnot. Um, the other part of this, though, is is that the character himself is uh, is uh, the kind of writer that talks a lot about writing, and uh, rarely ever writes about what he's supposed to be covering. So this is exactly the kind of thing that I need. Is is that uh, uh, you know, like uh, covering. Uh, going to cover the uh, sports and end up, <laughs> end up basically <laughs> following the circus around. Uh, yeah, it, it's a, it, it should be a lot of fun to see how that plays out. And that's uh, exactly what I was looking for for the, uh, the, um, uh, the show was uh, doing something like that. This is a, yeah, here you go, folks. Uh, this is the other theater I was talking about here, the Imperial. Uh, this one's always closed. Uh, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, but, uh, oh, okay, well, hey, it isn't. So, yeah, this is the, uh, this is the smaller theater. Uh, this is what they look like. And, uh, for those of you that, uh, follow along with the, uh, uh, screenshot stuff that I do, this is, uh, this is the theater that I took the picture for, uh, episode, uh, two of, uh, George's storyline. Uh, dime novel uh, two of his, I think it was, where I basically uh, it took a shot in here and then used this as the title. Yeah, that's exactly it. Is the improv value for it is huge, um, especially you know in the circus thing, and uh, that was kind of what I was wondering. But boy, the other thing about PRC community that I find is is that uh, they uh, they are uh, definitely. Uh, when you give them uh, an idea of where they're going with it, they, they just go and uh, do such a great job. Like um, a big part of uh, uh, the other thing that I was going to try to do with this guy, but I didn't really get him started early enough, was I wanted to get in on the, uh, uh, some of the Halloween things. But uh, you know what? To be honest, it was uh, for me uh, watching the Halloween stuff and watching everybody's streams all at the same time was so great like i'm a huge halloween fan and uh that was uh i i wouldn't even have wanted to have been part of it because it was so fun to watch everybody was so good at it and uh it was so much fun watching uh all of that stuff that uh yeah it, it was just kind of yeah no I'd, I'd rather just watch that but uh yeah i kind of i kind of figured we were going to be doing something And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, like I said, I, I, whatever we need for that, I'd be happy to do. Or uh, send uh, Robert here to do. Uh, and I do also have George. Um, but the other thing I was thinking, too, was is that I could also just create some of these players that you were talking about that we need for doing that. Because, yeah, you're totally right. You need to have a strong man. I mean, that would be great. Um, because that's, like, the classic uh sort of thing and uh i've i've watched enough <laughs> i've watched enough of ewok stuff to know that he is like the perfect person for uh the mc of uh the car of uh, the circus it's so good uh like i mean he, his his improv stuff is hilarious and uh that's i think that's a big part of uh, a lot of this too is there there's a certain sort of levity to this that I think would be a lot of fun for uh, everybody to be part of. And like you said, improv. Uh, totally a big part of it. 
Um, yeah, so uh, getting back to this again. Uh, you can kind of see that this is uh, an early uh, movie theater. It's, a, I believe, the electric lamp? What do they call it? It's a great name for it. It was also another one of those ones that I thought about using for... Uh, yeah, here it is. This is the... Uh, that's the camera uh, for it. And, uh, yeah, for those of you who remember George, George is, uh, was fascinated with um, the uh, uh, the moving pictures. Hello? Hello? Was it a fight? Um... Shoot, I don't see it on the sign. Or, oh, yeah, here we go. That's the one I was thinking of. Beaumont the Burley. Which I thought was interesting because Beaumont is uh, the water, water facility. It's called Beaumont in uh, San Denis. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, this is it right here. Uh, this is the one that um, uh, in the uh, the movies uh, that are at the Valentine Theater thing. Uh, that's that really bizarre one that uh, the uh, the cartoon that the guy draws comes to life and and basically kills him. And that's 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 the end of that little happy thing. Uh, do, 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 do. I don't remember where that's from. But, uh, yeah, there's a, there's so much stuff that's already in the game, uh, for a lot of that, that, uh, I think it'll be cool. Man. Does anybody else, like, feel how cold that, that mist is? Because I sure do. Hello. Howdy. Um, hmm. There is... Hmm, yeah. Get over here. Alright, um... I wanted to show you guys this. I mean, we may be out here again. Yeah, that'll be a good run. But uh, especially for the first snowfall here. And like I said, uh, the other part of the, the thing that was uh, um, encouraging me to start streaming again, uh, or at least get to get this uh, dime novel started and going, was this right here, was that I knew that, um, the, uh, uh, this, this winter season was coming. And, uh, I'm glad we got a chance to catch the end of, uh, the end of fall and the beginning of winter. I have a feeling that, uh, this may, this may be... One second. Hello? There's a, there's a unattended donkey here. Poor thing. I don't know. Shouldn't you be off running a party or something? Hmm. Um... But yeah, that was uh, kind of the thing was uh, I wanted to uh, hit the end of this. And it may not stay yet. I, I'm not really sure. But like I said, the community voted for the longest possible duration for this thing. So we may be up for, I think, two months. 
is uh, what the duration was. I don't know. I, uh, I have to deal with this stuff in reality, so for the most part, yeah, it, uh, about a week of it and I'm, I'm good. Oh, mm, that was weird. Uh, that's why. Um, but yeah, this is a lot of fun, and actually the reason I'm headed out here is because I want you to guys to see the, uh, uh, beginning in the west. Okay, good. We're in place. Yeah, dude, uh, this game is uh, kind of like uh, the long dark for me. Uh, in the long dark, you know, like I was saying before, um, it uh, it's like this, where you, you actually are, like start to feel a little chilly watching it. One sec. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, you actually, and the sound on it, too, is, uh, during the, the snowstorms is unbelievable. Um, and even this, too, if I remember correctly, if I have it turned up right, you can actually, like, hear the snow, uh, falling, which is, like, a thing. And, uh, it, it is so impressive. But uh, yeah, we're headed out to uh, we're headed out to the uh, west area here, to because uh, um, I don't think I think well I definitely haven't done it on stream, so it hasn't been part of the dime novels, and uh, I wanted to uh, hit this up uh, when it first gets started out there. But uh, yeah, look at look at the environment, Ugh, so good. Um, what did I have for this? I had something for this. Yeah, here it is.
So I thought that would work pretty well. Did it not like have a whole Hamanoptera thing going there? Like you didn't see this and then it just kind of appears in front of you? Very cool. I've seen that happen before a couple of times. But uh, yeah, you need just the right conditions. And uh, there they were. Uh, let's see here. So this is the great thing about this location here. Uh, it's basically up on the top and you can kind of see how this this works so this entire thing runs all the way along here and basically there's no other way down except for this this road right here uh, you can go way around in the back, but uh, it takes forever. So this is the only way in to this particular area. And uh, you get this. This is uh, over here. That's the uh, church in uh, Armadillo. And then uh, the town's right there. And then like way off and you can't see it because of the fog here but like way off in that direction there is the uh, tumbleweed but basically on a good day you can see this entire valley all basically everything that's in there it's just an amazing amazing area map design they did such a great job with uh, this side here Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, uh, you'd commented there on the, uh, Dolby, um, sound is huge in playing this, or at least being part of it. Uh, they did such a nice job with it, and, uh, you probably noticed it there, uh, when we were talking, um, the, uh, Salty Chat mod that, uh, we use on TeamSpeak, uh, does the range. Uh, thing that we've been doing speaking of which I'm shouting at the moment um, but yeah basically that takes care of the range thing and that works really well but it is nothing compared to the game sound like game sound is uh, so amazing in this because I can if I'm standing still I can actually 
tell you what direction something is coming at me from uh, in pretty much entirely around me. Uh, I get tuned uh, playing it for, well, I had been uh, basically doing practice streams for uh, Red Dead Redemption for over a year. And when you play it that much, you get really used to everything that you hear in the game. And it almost becomes like a, a just kind of a thing that uh, if the environment doesn't sound right, you know something's up. Um, and a lot of the time you can kind of get around it uh, if you think... Like I said, sometimes I get lost, and I don't know why I just kind of wandered off in a certain direction, but it's entirely possible that I subconsciously heard something that uh, indicated I should probably not go that direction. Now, I mean, is this... Th that is 100% snowy desert. It just, it, again, it feels right. Well, the uh, the snow um, mechanics in this game are crazy. I uh, I'm always impressed by how well this does this. And you probably noticed it there when I was sitting uh, on the edge, the, the, the piling up on the clothes thing. That usually happens at the beginning of a snowstorm. I mean, which is, you know, again, pretty accurate. If it's a wet snow. But it's a dry heat. How great does this look? I mean, aside from the, you know, <laughs> the funeral parlor over to the right. But I mean... Yeah. And not only that, but uh, there's... I am fairly certain that uh, the layout of these stores is... Yeah, I, I'm fairly certain that the layout is, is very similar to um, Yojimbo. Which is, you know, basically every, every Spaghetti Western is derived pretty much from Samurai Films. Where the hell is the, there it is. Hmm. What did we hear? How, um, how good is that with your headset as far as the uh, the environment sounds go? Here, let me kick this down so that you can uh, hear it maybe a little bit better. But uh, I was I was always curious about that as far as like uh, I know I know what I hear, but um, I'm really sure what uh, how it sounds on the stream side of it. We definitely need a cup of coffee. Hey, there we go. I'm a deal saloon, 40k. Boy. Remember too that uh, we got the offer to uh, bartend yesterday. Which I, I still think is a very... Oh, you got it? There you go. Uh, which I still think is a very uh, foolish yet humorous um, job for uh, for uh, Robert to uh, get into. Can I do this here? I guess I can't. Need to be closer? Nope. That one is just strictly that kind of sitting.
This looks like a crash course. Ooh, no, that's right. Probably get you in the stable there, buddy. I think. the stable although it, it doesn't again like I said uh, I'm not really sure on the, um, the thing but always a good idea well, maybe not oh it's that one this one off because of cholera. Stupid cholera. No. Oh! This is one of these, isn't it? No, maybe not. Well. I'm definitely new to tumbleweed. talking about before. Yeah, like I said, it is, uh, they've done such a good job with so many things in this. Um, it's a real shame, uh, that it, uh, it isn't, uh, it, it, I don't know. I guess it isn't. It was good, I was gonna say, it was a shame that, uh, that it's, it doesn't, uh, do better on, in the online version, but then I thought about it, we wouldn't have this server if they did and uh so yeah and uh yeah i can i can tell the dog is right over there that's so great Okay, so I do I do know this isn't one of the places that I spent a lot of time, but uh, it is a really cool environment.
calf. There it is. I can hear the snow. That's so great. <laughs> the crickets don't know what to do about it. Yeah, nice little touch here. Notice the cholera warnings. Yeah, it really is amazing. Uh, this game is so phenomenal. It really... Uh, again, they could do so much with it, and I mean, they already did so much with it. It's so, so realistic. I said that was, this is part of the reason that I wanted to, uh, I, I really wanted to use this as a, a dime novel setting, or at least for the harmless content thing, because this is such a big part of harmless content the um <clears throat> the computer game simulated reality and boy they did a good job with it it takes a little bit to get used to uh you know piloting your avatar in it but uh man i've seen some people that just make this Especially doing the roleplay thing, they just make it look like it's uh, natural. Which, eventually I'll get there. Alright. Oh yeah, I did want to see horses they have out here I'm looking for um uh Robert needs a thoroughbred so yeah these are uh wait are these purchase horse yeah these are the ones you can buy uh this one here the uh american standard alamino dapple one hundred dollars and 99 cents uh this one's 65 this one's 35 99 25 15. so fairly a reasonable price as far as the horses are concerned and then like i said those are all level zero so you have to you know do the uh, things I was talking about earlier in the stream in order to level them up. But uh, especially for the, uh, the like the cheaper ones, uh, it, it's not that hard. Uh, 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 I did mean to get you out. There he is. Oh. Well, I still have my horn. But, uh... Looks like his mane and tail got changed again. Yeah. Say la. Alright, I wanted to check that out. And since we're out here and enjoying the... old... There's a squealy piggy out here. What the hell? Mm -hmm. Um. Ooh. There you go. Enjoy that ball. Now you know that sound. Yeah, let's just do this. Oh. 
have a feeling that this may be the start of the snow. Alright. So, there's the mines. But this is what I was interested in. When I started, there wasn't anything here, and they've been uh, adding stuff to that location. I think it was actually the first time I came out here with, um, with him. Going the right way, right? Yeah. Uh, the first time I came out here with him, um, was, uh, the first day they had added in, uh, that location. And I think this actually where I got OB from was, uh, this, uh, this stable. It might have been the one in Tumbleweed. There you go. I'm definitely going to need to uh, get some winter clothes on him. They've got such a nice selection of clothing for uh, winter stuff. It's just a matter of digging through it. I love how much stuff they give you to work with on this server. And I hate how badly it... Uh, the... Um, the menu system uh, for it uh, can be, and, and it's not anything against them. It's just the way that it, the the way that the database works. Okay, here, let's um, let's do this. Yeah, so I dug up a uh, some more 
music to uh, use with the stream or stuff like that ah good that's what I was kind of hoping for as fun as it is to be outside in that cold it is cold <laughs> I actually feel kind of chilly so I thought I'd stop off here and uh, check the uh, post office. There we go. Oop. No. Uh. Okay, so okay, it was Sonja, Sonja. There was there was some debate as to uh, what the pronunciation of the name, how it was spelled. At least in my head, there was. <laughs> eh, sometimes I have good conversations with myself. Um. Yeah, this is the uh, the bartender job. So. We may have to take a look into that as well. Like I said. She said it was part-time, and uh, I, I, I don't know. There is definitely a uh, potential for uh, him to be part-time in everything. It's kind of, kind, of part of the, kind of part of the bit with him. There we go. So check this out. Mainly because I wanted to d double check this. Uh, he is... Okay, so it kicked me outside, but you get the idea. Unfortunately, I didn't realize I was going to kick him outside for that. Oh, and then throws him right back in here. That's... Huh. <laughs> I'll bet I hit that. I must have had that bench selected. That's what it was. Yeah. Looks like you can't select these inside. It's just the ones outside. Yeah, see there, it's highlighted outside. <clears throat> Newspapers... I think you can get back here. You can unlock it though. It's probably one of the. This is probably the bank vault too. Okay. Uh, good. So we got to figure out what we want to do about the uh, bartender job and how much trouble we want to get into with that. This is where I found the rare horses with this stable and the other one. Yeah, okay. There it is. Or maybe that isn't it. It is a Turkoman, but I don't think it's this one. Uh, I remember these being... Yeah, long distance. That's actually kind of what I'm looking for. I need something to get all the way across the map with. Okay, and yeah, there's this. Yeah, okay, I think this is the one. This is it here. 635, okay, so it's not the highest end one. Which, uh, I don't even see. Oh, here it is. Missouri Fox Trotter. 1600. <clears throat> Almost 1700. That thing's gonna take forever. Hmm. 
That's a good one. Hey, what's up? Hey, why did my... Why did the alert not go off? Just get. Just get. Just is it. Just is it. I think that's what it's supposed to be, right? Thanks for joining. And, uh, wow. What did it? Is that one of you guys? Good lord, I'm getting covered in things. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, once again, thanks to all the mods that uh, helped me out. Uh, Dull. Suval, of course. I really appreciate it. Uh, and, and then, of course, Hick, who's a, a mod. And, uh, well, Xantheus, I think, is the other one. <clears throat> I appreciate you guys. Like I said, getting started with it and uh, figuring it out and then that kind of stuff. Yeah. Super important. Uh, okay. So, not the work place I'm looking for, but good lord. This is, this is getting a little heavy. Wow, yeah. It really feels like winter. Uh here, let's uh let's pull out Karis. Uh where's Karis at? Here I'll pay a dollar. Oh good lord. Hey buddy. Wow. You seem to be a little cranked out. You know what? You are, uh, good to see you. <laughs> I'm not going to put that together. There we go. Oh, he's still got his, still got his eagle horn. All right. One last stable hit up. What the hell is that? Probably a damn snake. I don't know. I don't throw this either. It was definitely a snake. Okay, okay. I feel the same way. We'll move over to here. Okay. Yep, we'll be on our way. Just hold on. Hmm. I swore there was one over here. system in this game. Okay, we'll head over to here because there is something over here I did want to show you as far as how the game works. Okay.
so yeah you've probably seen the uh um the wild horses one of the things that they are they do kind of want to work on is uh, the ability to uh capture those and then train them and sell them they said it was something they had mentioned as a long-term target thing that they wanted to do which i thought was really cool I'd love to be able to go get my own horse, you know. I do like the way that they've got this set up. It, definitely doing the, the leveling up and bonding part of this is really kind of a cool thing for, uh, as far as I'm concerned, for the game. It really helps out quite a bit. Is this it? Or do they just move? No. Could be the stable. Mm hmm. Okay, there you go. doors sometimes aren't very cooperative all right i think i think this is actually where i got mine from well a lot more of these here here's where the donkey is 25 bucks for a donkey very tempted Although I do have kind of an idea though, like we were talking about uh, creating a character for uh, the circus thing. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna get one of those for that one. And then there's this one, the $10 mangy, back, uh, mangy backup horse is just that. It's kind of sad. And uh, I'm kind of glad that I don't see anybody using them. I guess I didn't get it. I guess I got it over at the other place. Uh, let's see. There's the expensive one, the Dapple Gray. 1500 1500 for that. There's the other one. Missouri Fox Strider. Yeah, there's so many of them. And that's the other thing. I, I probably mentioned this before, but... Uh... uh each one of these stables has a different selection of horses. So, you know, in order to find what you're looking for, you may have to go a couple of different places. And not only that, but, uh... Yeah. There we go. I just want to try that one, but I don't think I have... Ooh, dang it. And put new springs on that door. Quite. So this is like the classic uh, gunfighter town here.
Ooh, looks like this one's for sale still, too. Nope. 40,000. The West, generally, in most RP servers, for some reason, this Western territory is just never used. Um, I, I kind of get it in the early days, too. Uh, that had a lot more to do with, um... Can I do that? Yeah, I can do that here. Um, that had a lot more to do with the fact that it was a low server pop. Love the animations on this. Okay, now granted, he starts off with a cigarette already rolled, but... <clears throat> so many great rp things that you could totally just do with these these characters they put so much good stuff into this and like a lot of this stuff you don't is uh stuff that you know in the uh the story mode of the game you can't actually do it's just the uh those are the animations that they've got for the npcs and uh they've given us access to a lot of that stuff which is just awesome and again once you figure out how it kind of works it makes it look quite a bit easier hmm what are you hmm. Hmm. just a circle in the wrong place Well, this seems like a legit room. This is the poker room. Well, it's got the iron door on it and everything. Alright, we're going to... Let's try that. All right, be right back. Okay, well, maybe not the best mandolin player. <laughs> He's rocking it, though. He's definitely owning it. Um, what was the other one? Um, this would probably be a better chair for this. Um, two. matter for that? I don't think so. No. This was originally the instrument that I was going to have George playing. And mainly the reason for that was because there is a 
one of the random songs that comes up is uh, Drunken Sailor. Uh, which, uh, you know, there's just something inherently delicious about the, uh, one of the crew playing that. Oh, it's okay. Once again, it's kind of one of those things that, uh, it would be nice if it was a little bit better sounding. Some of the artwork. That's another thing that, <clears throat> in the, uh, regular version of the game, some of the art is just fabulous, which, you know, I guess kind of has to happen because the art in this game is just amazing. Okay, well, we managed we managed to get out to the furthest town out west. And uh it is cold. And note, uh, right on Saval. Thanks, man. Yeah, I'm gonna kind of do the same here. I'm going to uh, uh, head back out east and uh, probably call it a night here. But I appreciate you coming by, and uh, thanks again for doing the mod stuff. Uh, greatly appreciated. Because uh, yeah, that will probably be an issue. But yeah, um, like I said, thanks again, and uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow night, or uh, Hake at night, at uh, 10 p.m. over on uh, trekradio.net. Put in a little plug there for uh, the show. I don't know what I'm going to be doing for uh, the harmless content either. I haven't actually uh, decided. It's the void, you know. So we're going to fill the void with music of some form or another. Actually, I should probably do some stand-up comedy stuff, too. That might be kind of fun. Alright. That's our next table. Yuck. Uh, I wonder, did I put... Let me see. I might have put the... Nope. That's not what I wanted. No, I didn't put it on here. Yeah, well. Night, man. Take care. We'll see you, like I said, I'll see you tomorrow. And, uh, once again, thanks for tweeting, retweeting, all that stuff. Uh, yeah, for those of you, uh, listening in, follow along on the VOD. Uh, definitely follow, uh, at species8472 on uh, Twitter. It'll get you up to speed on what's going on with uh, trekradio.net and uh, myself and uh, the other uh, folks there that are uh, doing streaming and stuff. A great group of people and uh, always fun to uh, hang out and uh, do stuff, whether it be on the radio or streaming. Good lord, we need to get someplace warm. Because here out in the desert, it's not warm. How are we doing? Okay, we're doing okay.
turn my head for a second. And there's freaking wolves eating me. Oh well. I take it the horse dumped me. Would be my guess. Hello to anybody joining me and uh, watching me being fed upon here. It happens. I swear to God, I, I like turned to get to, to get my coffee, which I now have. So we'll just pour that now while we're waiting and being fed on by the wolves. I mean, uh, I guess I get it. You know, that it, it is obviously cold and whatnot. <clears throat> This is a lesson. We learned quite a few lessons along the way. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to escape this, but I definitely want to give it a try. For those of you that maybe uh, haven't caught my previous streams, uh, dealing with wolves is the thing. I even have a playlist for that. <laughs> this one, I think. Hmm, maybe not. There we go. All right. Let's see how this plays out. I don't think it plays out well because they're not going to leave me alone. But uh, I got to learn how this works. Ooh. Definitely know what I'm looking for. Ah, uh, here we go. This should do it. Alright. Good luck. Look, guys. I know you're hungry. But, uh... Yeah. I've done this before. I've definitely outwitted better wolves than you two. Unfortunately, I am in not very good shape for this. No, I don't want to give them the stew. I should give them the stew, right? That would make the most sense. Instead, I'm going to make you watch me eat the stew. It was delicious. Man, and it's not even a rocky area. More importantly, my hat's right over here. Right there. I want my hat back. Wow, you guys are serious. Over here. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, you damn coyotes. Seriously, you're gonna let them in here? Do that, he went over and told his friend. Interesting. They're working together. Yep. Yeah, just a boat. I've outwitted wolves before. And I'm lucky enough that they attack me right here at the ranch. But I mean, I get it. You know, it's snowing and, and whatnot. Good to see you, Taxi RP. Glad you could make it. Yeah, in one of my previous characters, I had a great, to uh, <laughs> about two hours of, uh, working on these other wolves. Come on. You know how that works, huh? Now, the question is, am I aggro too much? Yeah, I'm aggro too much. And yes, I could just shoot him, but eh. Where's the fun in that? I know. Call your buddies. Oh, man. Howdy. How you doing? Good. How are you? Uh, I'm alive, and that's good, right? <laughs> I've been playing yeah. with the wolves around here. Uh, uh, you know, they haven't really uh, uh caused any damage or anything. Okay. You don't look very great no. right now. No, I'm not doing great. But, uh, yeah, well, now that uh, the wolves aren't here, I can uh, grab my tonics and stuff off the horse. Oh, okay. At least you I think I can. You got a friend? Yes, I do. My name is uh, Robert. Robert Stockton. Robert Stockton? Oh, yeah. Nice to meet you, Robert. Yeah, I was in the Joe. area. I was in the area riding through, and uh, they spooked the horse. I think it was the snow. I don't know. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Let's see. I think one of your hands might have got uh, my horse. Let me check. All right. Ah, uh, there he is.
There we go. All right. Well, thank you for the help. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. You know, it's a pleasure. Yeah, it was uh, just out here uh, recently. Oh, I, I, mean, I didn't catch your name. What was it again? Joe. Joe! <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, everybody's been telling me to meet you. And, uh, yeah, uh, so, hello. People were telling you to meet me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Who told you to meet me? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I was out here uh, asking a bunch of questions about horses and whatnot. And uh, they said to uh, talk with you. About horses? Yes, sir. I think you you were the Joe they were referring to. I mean, if you have horse questions, I am not the person to ask. Okay, well, maybe you weren't the Joe I was uh, informed about then. That's okay. That's good to but meet you otherwise. No other Joes. Well, uh, uh, did you own the, the this area out here? Taking care of the ranch? No, I don't own it. I just I just operate here. Operate. operate. There we go. I'm the general manager of the ranch. Oh, oh yeah. I got you. I got you. Chill out here. He's. Do you want? Do you want me to help? Uh, that's okay. I'm. I'm actually. I gotta get to. I gotta get these tonics off of here. Oh, 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 yeah. He's just being a little feisty. Mm, Turks normally are. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Yeah. He definitely did not. Did not care for the wolves. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't a fan, I guess. I have to show you something. Oh. It's important. It's important. I really have to show you.
Okay, looks like we're good. Now I have to dress her up. Hold up, I'm gonna go dress her up. I need to go get my head. There it is. Right there. Kind of a good thing they showed up. Although I think I could have played with those horses for quite a while, or the, the wolves for quite a while. Those two weren't very bright. There didn't appear to be an alpha, which was kind of weird. Don't inter want to interrupt. Uh, thanks again. I uh, appreciate all the uh, the help there. Yeah, of course. No worries. You know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glad we could have been a help. Excellent. Yeah. Yeah. Have a great day. It's good to see the storm stopped. Yeah, you should be clear to ride off and you know. Yeah. Yeah. It was getting bad. No problems. Couldn't really see much. Yeah, I know. It was getting real rough. My glasses, I'd take them off and put them back on. Mm hmm. Yeah. Look at my half ass. Wow, that is a beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. ass. No, it's just half ass. <laughs> right. Exactly. Look, look. She just caught an attitude with you because you called her a full ass. That sounds about right. That's usually how it goes with me in meeting new people or horses. <laughs> What, do you normally call people an ass? Uh, no. Uh, it mm. goes the other way most of the time. Oh. <laughs> well. Are you an ass? I, you, I, I like to think not, but, you know, it just mm -hmm. sometimes you what? say things that are true and nobody mm -hmm. wants to hear them. Like you know. what? Well, I don't know. Uh, things. Mm-hmm. Just the wrong things at the right time. That usually does it. Or the right things at the wrong time. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm gonna go be excited with my ass now. Half ass. <laughs> nice. Wait. Huh? I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking I met you before. You do? You think so? I, I think so. But, you know, things like uh, being kicked by the horse, uh, it, it causes no end of trouble. Oh, yeah. That's why you have to write everything down. I'm going to What do you think of it? Where would we have met? Uh, well, it would maybe here. No. Oh, maybe. I mean, I'm here a lot. Could be. Could be. I, I don't know. I I, when I first came out here, uh, some folks had told me to come out here and uh, meet with you guys because uh, you guys knew a lot about uh, raising and, uh, man, you know, working with the horses. Mm hmm And uh, I'm a... Uh, well, I... Uh, they sent me out here originally. I was sent out here to uh, cover uh, a story about uh, the uh, San Denis uh, Saints uh, National League baseball team franchise opening up. Yeah, that didn't, that wasn't even a thing. But right. uh, yeah, so I was just looking at stuff to cover and, uh, you know, horse racing and uh, uh, pretty right, much. You know, I think I did meet you a long time ago. Yeah, it was, a, it was, a, it was quite a while ago now. Yeah, I mean, nothing new to come up down here lately, so... Okay, oh, well, yeah. yeah, that's kind of what I figured. I was uh, heading out, uh, I was looking at uh, some of the horses out in uh, uh, Tumbleweed. 
out there uh, to see, you know, like what kind of stock they have. They, those are expensive, beautiful horses, though. I haven't been down there in a while, but mm. yeah, huh? Yeah, there and uh, what's the name of that other place there down there? Bannock Point. Yeah, 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 yeah. They've also got uh, uh, a bunch of uh, uh, kind of odd horses that I hadn't seen around. Had a friend that was uh, looking specifically for a Tennessee Walker, and uh, you can only find one. And uh, there's there's a couple of them over there. Yeah, I haven't looked at the horses down there in a while. Maybe I could go go down there, update my uh, my chart. Yeah, you know, might be a good idea. There's uh, some nice ones. They uh, yeah. they seem to take real good care of them. At, at least uh, as far as as far as what they're charging for them, they better take good care of them. Yeah, well, Sonny's good down there in Amelie, mm. so he yeah, probably yeah. raised good horses. I yeah, it seems like one it. fence. Well, you nicked the fence. Only one. It was one of the ones uh, over over there. So it's the taller ones. All right, I'll go fix it. <laughs> Always something to do. Yep, yeah, there's job security. Nice. Well, you know. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I break one fence every so often, it's fine. But start breaking a lot of fences all the time, now we have an issue. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, she seems to be all over it. That horse is solid. Oh, I thought you were going to say all over breaking fences. Well, yeah, I don't know. no, fortunately not. No. Uh, look at that. Good lines on that horse. Damn. Yeah, perfect. Perfect jumping. Mm hmm mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, I was heading out that way, uh, to, uh, check out the horses and stuff. Uh, they get a, a pretty good selection. I definitely recommend it. Yeah, I definitely have to go over there and just, you know, update my list and know what's what, because I haven't mm-hmm. been down there in forever. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can, uh... I've come to the conclusion. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. I'm sorry. I'm, I've come to the conclusion that she's not ready to jump those fences. I may have just broke an entire fence Uh-oh. over there. Really? Damn. I'm sorry. I thought she was ready for that kind of jump, and she wasn't, and she broke the entire thing. Wait, which fence? Which one? Yep, that'll do it. I guess those two. Close though. Yeah, you're right there. I don't know. I got the other on the other side, but that side for some reason doesn't like because she keeps clipping it. Mm, yeah. Time to break some more defenses. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean about the job security. Yeah, now I think she's just doing to mess with me. I definitely think that's true too. So, all right, I'm gonna get working on these fences. Right good seeing you again. Sir. Yeah, it was good seeing you again, Joe. Uh, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. You know, feel free. Once we get these derbies going and stuff, we can't wait to have you down here to write all about it. Definitely. Yeah, that sounds great. Uh, there's also uh, I, I don't know if you'd heard about it, but uh, there's some folks looking for uh, uh, talented people. Uh, it was was the way they put it. Are Are you talking about the, the very small man? Yeah. Oh, oh. Well, I had been told that he was, but I met his he's, assistant. He's uh, smaller than me. He's a really small man. Yeah, that's what she he was saying. He wears a really cool hat and a cape. She said he was like two feet tall. That was the thing, the cape. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She, yeah, she cape. said he wore a cape, and I was immediately mm-hmm. jealous. Mm-hmm. He has, a, he has a cape on, and he has a, this interesting-looking hat, and then he he's really, really small. He's smaller than me, and I'm really small. But, yeah, that's, that's fascinating. Yeah, uh, what was it the dame? Uh, that's who I met. Was uh, apparently. I'll be honest with you, I don't remember his name. Well, uh, his name is Patrick. Uh, Patrick the uh, um, amazing the. I don't know. 
it, it's something like that. Patrick the Amazing. But uh, Give yeah, me a second. he's a. I guess he's a, a practitioner in magic. I haven't heard of this guy, but. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, for, what'd you say? Well, they were looking for uh, talented people, was the way they put it. Uh, they're uh, putting together a, a traveling circus. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I was just kind of spreading the word about it, you know, in case anybody was, like, interested in, uh, uh, like, uh, going to talk to them. I'm guessing, uh, you know, they're, they're probably looking for people to do, uh, you know, uh, uh, all kinds of uh, entertainment type stuff. But, uh, yeah, it sounded really interesting. Uh, so, you know, if, if you'd be interested in that kind of thing, uh, just keep your eye out because uh, they'll have posters and stuff. And uh, I, d I told them that I would uh, kind of help out with uh, letting people know about it until I uh, get some flyers or something like that to, uh, to nail it down a little bit more. Yeah, well, it sounds cool. Yeah, yeah, it should be really interesting. Like I said, uh, the Patrick guy is uh, he's, uh, apparently quite amazing. As, as the name implies and uh yeah he was uh, i guess looking for people but uh like i said I, I just met his assistant and uh i took her out to uh blackwater from uh uh san denis she was uh i guess fairly new in town but uh had, had uh some run-ins with uh some ruffians i believe she called them nothing but, uh, yeah, so they, they said they were looking for uh, people, I'm guessing, uh, to be part of the uh, the circus or at least be interested in uh, going to see it. They're going to have lions. Yes, actually, yeah. She said they and have wolves. lions. And uh, apparently uh, they also and have uh, uh, zebras and, uh, oh. uh, yeah, some other, like, very exotic animals. A bear, I guess. Oh, a trained cool. bear. I just realized something really sad. Mm. I should have named her Dumbo. Dumbo? Yeah. She's got really big ears. Her name could have been Dumbo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. she's adorable, though. I love to think Dumbo can jump. Nope. Oh, well, We're going to find out. <laughs> uh, you're going to need more nails. And probably some more planks. I, mean, I got plenty of nails. Planks I don't have. Hmm. Yeah, I, I suppose you would have to, to have those uh, brought out here special, huh? Not a lot yeah, of trees. Well, yeah, well, that's the thing. Not a lot of people cutting trees or anything, so. Mm hmm. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> it didn't go the way you wanted to? No, I think I just have to stick with Lux for jumping. Other than that, or uh, you could uh, hire a kid to uh, do fence repairs. <laughs> that might oh, help. we have plenty of kids to do fence repairs right now. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> so I said it's job security. Job for security, him. indeed, indeed. All right, well, I'm gonna head on out uh, again. Uh, it was great seeing both of you again, and uh, we'll, we'll I'll, I'll let you know if I uh, find out anything more about the circus. Yeah, please All right. do. Have a great day. You, you too. too. All right, chat. Let's see if we can make it out of here this time. <laughs> I think the key is is that I, I shouldn't run over to the other the other room and grab coffee while just letting it auto run. It was it was dumb. But, but, again, and this goes to what I was doing earlier, weird things like that happen because of that. Plus, I was having fun with those wolves. Alright, where was I headed? What was I doing? Oh, yeah. And about bait. And I think, I think, I think it's time to get a cart. I did want to try out the uh, the other um, the other uh, art. The medium one's good, but uh, yeah, I think the others would be uh, the small ones. I think are, are going to be his kind of thing. 
Because the whole idea behind this is, uh, you know, he, he needs to get to, uh, to the story. Whether the story is actually there or not. That's why I'm super excited about the circus. Is yeah. I could definitely do hype man for cir circus, no problem. Uh, once again, thanks to everybody that's uh, been following along, and uh, thanks to all of you watching the VOD in the future. I hope you guys are enjoying it, and uh, if you do, make sure you follow in uh, over there on. Uh, Over there on, uh, yeah, over there on Twitch, and uh, also uh, hello to uh, everybody uh, hanging out and watching the vod on uh, YouTube. I uh, appreciate it. Uh, let me uh, let me throw that up there actually in the chat. Uh, I'm gonna get attacked by wolves again here when I do this. There we go. Uh, that's the new new YouTube archive. Uh, so you can catch all of the uh, the other VODs and stuff that I've done over uh, uh, recently. Um, but it does also have a link to uh, the uh, my last year uh, on uh, Twitch and YouTube. Which uh, I got a bunch of uh, different kinds of streams that I did. Um... Actually, tonight I was supposed to be doing uh, one that I call HC Media, which is uh, video game art. And uh, I haven't got a chance to get back to that yet. It is a... Uh, uh, right now we we're doing Ghost of uh, Tsushima. At least we were. Thinking about getting back into the, doing that. But uh, the way that I'm doing it is a little bit... Uh, oh, hey, oh, no, 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 no. Chill, chill, chill. I was right. Are we good? Okay. Uh, yeah, doing a Ghost of Tsushima uh, walkthrough, literally. I'm walking through it. I'm doing it to what I call you Jimbo style. Uh, where I basically walk from uh, each location to each location. Try not to use the horse as much. It, it's really difficult because uh, uh, when you get into and play on... Uh, um, on a game like this, the horse is just so good here. All right, good. The horses are just so good that uh, you get into Yojimbo, and it's a great game. I mean, an amazing game. But uh, uh, horses, not it's uh, not what it was designed to do. Uh, okay. The stuff here. Mm -hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Oh, there it was. Basically, stockpiling my bait and then, uh, like I said, I finally got to the opportunity to get wagons. So excited about it. It means things are moving forward. I'm glad they could figure it out too. Great group of people running the uh, the servers. Uh, they really are working hard at it and uh, making sure that it's uh, playable and uh, a fun environment to work in. And boy, it is check on both. Really having a lot of fun with it. Uh, started back here... August? Yeah. Back in August. And uh, ran a couple of streams from there, but uh, for uh, the story that I was telling, and am still telling with the Dime novels, uh, uh, the other server, Wild RP, was a, a little bit better location to get me started with uh, that particular character. But uh, this is definitely the server for this character to uh, get his his feet on the ground, and then uh, at some point they'll uh, I'll, I'll probably run him again over on that one 
Um, but the whole point of it is for it to be uh, uh, the same character in two different realities. Snow looks great. I'm glad it stopped snowing. It was definitely getting uh, cold. <laughs> they did such a nice job with the audio that, uh, man, it really is uh, solid. And uh, it definitely makes things feel a bit chilly. At least for me. I wonder. Hello. How's it going? Oh, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I'm glad it stopped snowing. Me too. Careful if you go out there. It's a little slippery. Alright. Um, what I did want to do is... Let's rent... I ran the medium last time. I think there's only the small. Let's go with this one this time. Okay. Yeah, this is, I think, more what I was looking for. Okay, it's two-person. That's good. And, uh, yeah, I wanted a convertible. Oh, this might not be the best for this time of year now. But, uh, yeah, cool. Hello? Ooh, damn. Nice. That has instant acceleration. Uh, it does have a light on it. Kind of hoping that I can find one without a light, but that's okay. We'll work with that on a coach. Or on a, a buggy. Same kind of thing, though. It's definitely a little bit more muted, which is uh, kind of what uh, what I like. All right, cool. Let's do this. See how this goes.
four. Yeah, I like it. I'm definitely digging the, uh, the buggy. I, uh, the covered ones are okay. I just, I don't know. There's something about it that it just seems a little more top heavy than, I, than I'd like it to be. But, uh, yeah, this thing seems to go pretty well. Uh, um, and, uh, I like it. Once again, you know, it's a little different than, obviously, the horse. But uh, for doing these uh, longer run type things, this is going to be totally the, the kind of thing I want. Because, um, that's like I said, part of his, his gig is going to be the, that he's, you know, a news reporter. Or at least a journalist of some type. And uh, I want to be able to uh, be mobile. And this, uh, this works great too because the other part of this is that I can do things like interviews and uh, talking with people without uh, having the weird thing with the horses trying to match the horse speeds up without it being uh, ridiculously long or slow or nice yeah it looks great here in the, uh, the snow areas too
We tested all this stuff out. Oh, that's what I didn't check. We'll check that as soon as we get uh, on land here. Actually, I suppose I can check it right here. Twenty pounds. Okay. Well, it looks like uh, all of the the carts are twenty pounds. Is uh, what their storage covers. Which is the um, the wagon that I'm going to buy is uh, the medium wagon, and those uh, those hold 200 pounds. And uh, boy, that is mm, those are nice for uh, doing uh, the fishing that I do. Because basically, what I I've been trying to do is uh, uh, when I get up in the morning, I do a little bit of fishing because it's a great way to wake up. <laughs> it really is. It's very calming, uh, and uh, gets me gets me going in the morning. Uh, and um, plus, it uh, pays out quite well. All right. Now, uh, this is uh, this is where the black hole starts. And one of the goals of the stream was to not feed the black hole. But uh, we are about to do just that. And what I'm speaking of is uh, earlier today we had a little issue with Valentine. Basically, you couldn't get anywhere near it. Like, once I crossed this bridge, I think I got about 30 or 40 feet across this bridge. And uh, it just blacked out. Yeah, right about here. And, uh, <clears throat> it was not any better when I loaded back in either, because it, I, I moved like three feet in the same direction, and sure enough, I just crashed again. Seems to be okay. So, yeah, the small buggy. I like it. What one of these actually cost? I think I rented it for 10. Maybe 15. Understood. I think we've met before, actually, at the saloon. That's entirely possible. That seems like a place that I would be found. <laughs> uh, my name is Brian. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. How you been doing? I've been well. Just buying gold off people. Oh, uh, right on. Yeah, yeah. That's right. You had uh, mentioned that. How's that going? The mine's going pretty well. Yeah. Uh, still looking for workers. That's it. Yeah, yeah. I've uh, mentioned it to a few folks uh, that uh, that uh, you were uh, looking for gold. Okay. Oh, thanks for that. Oh yeah, no problem. It's you know, it's part of journalism. You always uh, move the story along, you know. Wait, I really like that, uh, 
That small buggy was nice. Mm. Been basically uh, renting uh, some of the different uh, wagons and stuff, giving them a try. And you wanna you wanna look into that supply wagon? Boy, I'll tell you what, you can haul a, a ton of ore with that. Oh really? Well, uh, I'll just say that I have I have a, quite a bit of wagons. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm, I'll bet you do. Yeah. <laughs> That's, it'd be a good... uh, yeah, the supply wagon holds around two thousand pounds. Yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. Mm -hmm. I uh I picked that up uh, at the very beginning there because uh, you know I'm looking for something to you know instead of having to hand you know stuff a whole bunch of fish in my uh my horses bags. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting that supply wagon and was like, yeah, I'm never ever gonna fill that up with fish. That's what that's uh, my thought with Lord too when you're by yourself. Yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's usually when for like a business or you have a group with you that to do all the fishing together or panning or mining. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I could see that being useful to like a, do a, you know, a big, big group type thing. But yeah. Individual no. is just, you, you'll never, it's more for like storage if you don't have a homestead or such. Yeah. That's a great idea. Uh, I, I'd uh, toyed with that idea myself. And, uh, you know, it's it, not a bad idea at all. I'm actually, uh, uh, I was about to pick up uh, one of these uh, medium wooden carts. Uh, uh, I think they, uh, maybe like 200. Yeah, they're pounds. 200, exactly. Mm. Yeah, I like it because uh, basically like uh, one of my big fishing holes is uh, not too far off in that direction there. And, uh, you know, it, it's uh, it, it's just a, uh, it's a nice little ride. And uh, the cart's real, uh, real smooth. And, and fast. It was faster yeah. than a horse. Good lord. That's for sure. Good lord, they're fast. That was uh, the buggy. Uh, uh, just as soon as I hit it, it was like a, a, you know, like frogs in a dynamite pond. Oh, here we go. This is one of the, uh, the big, uh, the bigger wagons. I think that's a coach. A large coach. Yeah, I have one myself. Is that one of those? Okay. Yeah, it's a large coach. Holds 80 pounds. 80 pounds. How many uh, passengers on that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Damn. 10 passengers. Mm -hmm. Wow. Except four of them has to hang out on the side of the, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the wagon. Which can be tricky, you know. You, you, you scrape them off on the trees and stuff. It isn't the safest, but it does move <laughs> a lot of people. No, no, but uh, yeah, it wouldn't be fun if it was safe. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, what? Are, so, like, what are those bench ones? Those guys be huge. Bench cart. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, I think it's around three hundred to four hundred pounds. You can carry, and it holds one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Like the same, ten, but there, it's more open. Like, yeah. Uh, You'll be inside, but there's just a bench uh, at the back of the cart that yep. you can just sit on. Yeah, that's a. I was wondering if uh, uh, I, I was guessing that ten is probably the max as far as those are concerned. I've heard that uh, the the brand branded uh, coach. Is, oh. uh, I think it's like uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it, hold, it has four horses. Yeah, uh, I've I've heard that it, it could hold two more people in the back. Yeah, I've seen that it's thing. Hanging. It's a freaking beast. It's huge. Like, I mean, I, I couldn't see driving it. That would be uh, insane. Yeah, it's unnecessarily big unless you're, uh, let's say that you're, uh, trans you're into transporting people, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's that... uh, luxurious in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like a, like a, a land yacht. <laughs> yeah, that's what, yeah, that's what you'd call it. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm yeah uh, it's crazy uh but uh yeah I, I guess i could see that like if you were running uh probably folks uh like from uh way out east i think it's like caught a ferry yeah there you go that would be that would be a better term for it yeah mm. yeah you could uh boy I, I suppose you could you could run people from one side of the 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 state to the other in that thing and in, in in quite quite a comfortable situation 
that'll probably uh it'll probably be big here if it uh, continues to snow like it is yeah i mean uh riding horses in the snow isn't uh too fun no uh, yeah i was uh i was actually out in uh, uh new austin and uh oh. got caught up in the storm yeah i was there too and it was snowing that's crazy, because, you know, it seems like it would be, like, uh, really hot over there, but no, it is, it was, oh my gosh. It was so cold. Oh, uh, beautiful morning. Yeah, I mean, are you done looking for carts, or do you feel like any advice? Oh, uh... Yeah, sure. What do you got? I mean, uh, what are you looking for? Just uh, maybe like a, a good cart they can carry and it's fast, or um, look for the large ones. Well, a couple of things. I uh, I, I think I I need to. I'm, I'm gonna pick up that medium. Uh, just yeah. you know, for business purposes, as far as uh, getting the the fish and stuff. Uh, because that seems to be you know, it's a pretty good haul when you get that thing filled up and then bring it in. It, yeah. When I first started out, I had the small wooden cart, which holds 100 pounds. Okay. It, it was fast, agile, and it, it hurt and carries two times the amount of as a horse. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah, and, definitely. Uh, but I definitely, if you have the money, I would go for the, the medium carts. Okay, okay. That holds 300. Yeah, that's sound advice. Definitely. Especially when you're fishing, because they, they, they weigh a lot more a lot more than uh, the ore. Mm-hmm. Some of them, yeah. I... I... I tend to go for the the medium size uh, fish, and you know it's a lot. It's a bigger quantity, but uh, you know you can kind of kind of pack them in there. Yeah, I usually when I go out fishing, I go for the twenty pounders. Okay, yeah, the big big suckers, mm -hmm. the ones that make you wonder why uh, why we're you know why why we're uh, even able to get into the water without them eating us. <laughs> I guess so, but they're real skinny. They, yeah, I long. noticed that. They're, yeah. like, uh, long and uh, thin and, yeah. But, uh, I don't know, some of the some of those big ones out in the swamps, uh, I'm pretty sure those are dinosaurs. Oh. <laughs> pretty sure. I think, uh, there's quite a bit of catfish in the swamps. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think they also go around to 20 pounds. Oh, really? Okay, yeah. okay. I guess I think the catfish also is also considered a large thing, but, uh... I can't remember. I think it's like seventy dollars to a hundred for a okay. catfish. Wow, that's yeah, that is good. Especially if you could haul a couple of them, you could uh, definitely cash in on that. Yeah, but I would be careful in the swamps because I, I just heard some things of like this, uh, s the group that scalps people's heads. Oh, good lord! Like a bunch of uh, at least they call them clickers because they click their tongue or something. Oh, god. Mm. Yeah, well. You know, it's the swamps. You you gotta expect that sort of thing, I guess. I guess so. I, I, and also the the gators. Yeah, well, you know, it, it's kind of the environment that you live in, I guess. Mm. It's a, a I've had a, you know correspondents that uh, go out to uh, Australia, and uh, they say that uh, everything's trying to kill you there. Everything. Oh yeah, it's wild up there. Oh, like I'll down bet. There. I'll bet. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, it's it's plenty plenty fine here. I get to I get hauled down by a couple of wolves out at uh, McFarland's ranch, and uh, had to, a couple had to run them buggers all over the place. And uh, I had them I had them you know all they were all six ways to Sunday. They couldn't figure out the fences or any of the stuff around out there. But uh, oh yeah, they don't yeah they don't like going past those things. Mm -mm. No, but uh, man, th these two that were on me were determined and. Uh, well, uh, Joe, the guy that, uh, the manager out there at the ranch, he kind of came in and shot him, but, uh, I was, I don't know, I was having kind of fun playing with him, actually. Although, I, I, I'll be honest, I didn't have any health. That's part of the reason I'm here, is I gotta go over to the doctor. Okay. You know, that the one snagged me real good in the arm, and, uh, yeah, that, uh, I kind of threw a tourniquet on it, but, uh, I don't know if it's gonna work real well. Anyways. Well, tourniquet... Well, it's more to keep the pressure, you know, yeah. so you don't bleed out. Yeah, well, that's I, I got it tight and tight underneath here. So you always carry extra bandanas for for that kind of thing. 
Um, yeah, actually, the other thing I was going to ask you, if, you, if you're familiar with the cart stuff, uh, do you know much about the uh, uh, the buggies? The buggies? Yeah. I don't know the the weight. They, I don't even know how much they carry, but they, they are fast, and that's for sure. Yeah, I've, well, I, I've rented a couple of them now, and uh, they all seem to be about 20 pounds, so... Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they're they're not for like heavy hauling, but uh, it is for personal use, you know. Yeah, we'll see. I, I thought that might be a good thing for uh, for me, uh, you know, because uh, doing the uh, trying to get stories and stuff, and uh, boy, have I found that like you, you have to play the rumor mill with uh, with a lot of these uh, these folks. Mm -hmm. So you have to chase down, you know, a rumor going from city to city type of thing. And uh, I thought a buggy would be a better way to do that. I'd say, uh, it's, I'm uh, pretty sure a buggy is pretty cheap. Mm -hmm. Um, they're fast. Uh, yep. it, most of the pieces are pretty lightweight. Uh, if, if you're just trying to, like, chase down rumors like that, I would say a buggy's good. You don't really need a good, like, a huge carriage because you're not really carrying much people right. or uh, yeah. hauling a lot of stuff. Yeah, that's what so I figured. A buggy would be good because they, most carriages don't, like, uh, you don't need a, Let's see. They don't get as tired as much. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. That's that's kind of what I was looking at. Is uh, you know, uh, it's nice having the horse and all, but uh, man, I, I'm gonna have to do the uh, the old Pony Express with it and have like five or six horses. And uh, yeah, I don't I don't know if that's a that's gonna be a good idea. So uh, I was thinking of investing in a in a buggy. Plus, uh, they're good for things you know, like if I'm gonna like maybe interview somebody. Uh, it makes it much easier to talk with them and uh, go somewhere. Because uh, a lot of the time, you know, it's hard to uh, get your horses to uh, get along. Oh, yeah, I guess so. Was... I don't know if you'd Could have to do as, as much shouting either. Uh, you don't. Uh, maybe for the bigger wagons when you're a bit more separated, sure. but... Sure, sure, but, yeah. But if you're both in a buggy, then I think it's all right to uh, whisper. Yeah, that definitely makes sense. But uh, yeah, I was looking at getting uh, one of those. Uh, I noticed there's like a, a couple of different kinds. Uh, do, do you know if uh, uh, they're um, uh, like a, like kind of how they have the uh, the horses uh, all over the place, uh, different kinds in different places? But do they have that set up the same way with the uh, the carts and stuff? Well, I'm pretty sure all the buggies only have one horse. Yeah, I, I know, uh, but I mean, uh, you know, like, uh, like how, uh, 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 a breed. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I'm pretty sure uh, most of them use draft horses. Okay. Of the like, uh, usually, uh, you can't tell when the stable, when the, the conveyance person brings out your cart. He's usually like a different horse. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've noticed that. But, but uh, the horse doesn't really matter uh, as much. Yeah, I didn't think so, uh, but I, I mean, uh, like, uh, do the uh, the different uh, 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 places that uh, have carts are, are they different carts or is it all pretty much the same same it's kind? All the same. It is they, okay. They all have all the same catalog. You don't have to go to anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, special. Okay, that's kind of what I figured. I I'd kind of peeked at a couple of places and I've rented at a few different places. But uh, I had heard that it was a really good idea that uh, if you rented from one place to, like, kind of return it to that place. Uh, honestly, depending on how much money you have, you can mm. you can buy a cart and then sell it back for the same amount. Oh. So you don't lose any money. Okay, so, yeah, there's some... Renting, no... renting, you're probably losing money. <laughs> well, sure, yeah. Well, I but figured... unless you, yeah, unless you have enough money to, to pay for the, the bigger ones. Uh, right. Uh, you, I would pay for the carts and then sell it back to see what it is. I got you. I got you. Uh, that's excellent. Yeah, because uh, basically what I've been doing is just renting them. You know, rent it, drive it from one city to another, and uh, give it a test drive type thing. But uh, yeah, that sounds like that actually. I didn't realize that uh, there was no depreciation on it. That's uh, no. that's crazy. Mm -hmm. But I guess it's kind of good. Uh, it gives you the opportunity to uh, find what you really like. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, I don't know how much more I'm going to like the snow. I thought it would be a good idea, you know, to have a, it, you know, a good a good winter, but uh, I'm already tired of it. <laughs> Are you? 
Well, yeah. No, well, no, not not yet. But uh, I can I can tell that it's gonna wear on me. Well, for me, um, it's different. Well, I've been around the state a lot longer than you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Probably. So for me, this is a nice refresh. I'm mm -hmm. probably, probably gonna enjoy this uh, for quite a while. It's not like uh, like in October with the Hulist Nation, where it's like um, like special things are happening, but like uh, going on for too long. Yeah, yeah, I get you, I get you. But this one's more of a, I guess, an environment thing. So this sure. is more, I, uh, the word I would say that's a bit awkward would be immersive. Uh, yeah, it's it's very seasonal, uh, mm -hmm. uh, which is you know it's good because it definitely uh, grounds it in uh, a, a good reality, I guess be a good way to put it yeah so i i am peace i get it like i uh like like everyone that else that lives where it snows people mm -hmm. will get sick of it but that's the that's practically the thing you're not supposed to like the snow it's gonna be a <laughs> it's gonna be a hardship for all of us probably, you're not like, supposed food. to yeah you're not supposed to enjoy the weather that's a, that's a bad idea because <laughs> then you just get well, too used to it well, it's uh, just the uh, mostly the the weather there is uh terrible, you know. Yeah, yeah. The snow is good for like a good while, but you. Yeah. But surviving in the snow is what uh, wears you down. Yeah, well, I agree. And uh, you know, the the other thing is is that uh, I, uh, I, I I totally understand what you're saying too about uh, it being a change, because uh, yeah, I I used to uh, 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 hang out in another state, and uh, you know that they they. Uh, they the, uh, did this uh, but uh, it was it was definitely more you know like a kind of like a, a Christmassy kind of thing no. and uh, yeah uh, that's why I was kind of interested to see how this goes uh, as far as uh, my tolerance of it goes because unfortunately uh, in a lot of cases I, I, I usually am like very excited as uh, the winter is coming and, uh, and the first couple of weeks is a lot of fun and then you're trudging through black snow in the middle of february and yeah you're done yeah let's just to see how it goes because i'm pretty sure that it's uh it's gonna be tougher uh living here once the snow finally uh comes in mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, for sure well that's fine that's good that uh, yeah it's a good change survival change in a way yeah builds hardy americans good idea mm -hmm. Uh, the, the other thing, too, now that I think of it, I, I, I did want to mention, because I, I kind of uh, promised that I would mention it to everybody I ran into. Uh, I had run into uh, uh, somebody earlier. Uh, her name was, well, she said uh, her name was The Dame. The um, Dame? Yeah, The Dame. The Dame. Okay. Yeah, she's uh, the assistant to uh, 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 Patrick. His name is Patrick something. Patrick the Amazing? The Incredible. The, amazing. the uh, Are they showmen? Yeah, well, she said he's like a, a magician and uh, he's apparently like a, about two feet tall uh, and, <laughs> and wears a cape. Two feet tall and wears a cape. Yeah, oh. and you know, all of that. And I was immediately jealous that he's got a cape. So uh, I have to meet this guy. But um, apparently, what they're doing is uh, they're getting a, a circus started. Okay. And they're uh, they're looking for uh, what they said uh, were talented people. So I, I don't know exactly what kind of talented they were looking for. I, I think it was just like any talent that uh, you know you could showcase at uh, like a circus or something. Mm, yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess he was uh, this Patrick guy was here earlier, and uh, did some magic tricks and stuff, and uh, everybody was fascinated with him. But, uh, yeah, he was apparently riding from town to town looking for uh, people to uh, uh, join in or at least be interested in it so that uh, you knew about it uh, being in town. Because uh, they were saying that they wanted to, uh, like, basically do shows in, in all of the different cities and stuff. That'd be good good for this uh, for the states. Honestly, I, I've heard a lot of people looking forward to people starting up plays or right. any, any kind of entertainment. Because, like... Uh, the theater in Saint Denis is up for sale. I think two of them are. Yeah, I was actually looking at uh, the one in Saint Denis is a fabulous. It is an amazing building. Uh, the architecture inside is uh, just a, a sight to behold in itself. 
And uh, it's it's a shame that uh, it's sitting there uh, unused right now. Yeah, I don't know. If, I'm pretty sure someone did buy it, but. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I I can't tell because uh, once I once I have my own papers for my own uh, property, I can't really see it. Oh, you know? oh, okay, okay. I see, I see. Well, uh, look, that makes sense. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that uh, it was a really beautiful theater, and like I said, it's a shame if it would go to waste. So uh, yeah, that's that's good news. That's definitely good news. No, yeah, but the 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 terrible thing is that uh, some things do go to waste. Uh, well, have you heard of the the bar at Doyle's? Oh, well, the bar Doyle's in Saint Denis, like mm -hmm. an Irish pub. Yeah. Uh, nobody can get in it because the the person that owns it it hasn't uh been around uh, for a while. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I kind of wondered what would what would happen with that and how that would work. Um, so far, they've only opened up when they they have events, but nothing up, uh, nothing more, nothing less. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's kind of, I guess, how it goes. Um, but yeah, that's that was kind of what I was thinking too. Was you know, a lot of that stuff is uh, it it, it always sounds good, but uh, man, it's a lot of work sometimes. It is. Uh... Especially with, uh, I guess, my mining business. But uh, I, again, I do at least try. You know, mm -hmm. I don't have to be, I don't have to be here every day, but I at least have to come here once, a, at least one, like two to one, one times a day, okay. so I can see my workers and pay them and collect. Right, right, yeah, yeah. That's you know, that's well, that's that's just kind of how it is. And uh, yeah, if you're willing to put in the time, uh, you know, you get what uh, you get out of it, what you put into it. Uh, like everything else. Also, another place uh, that's gone to waste is the Taylors in Saint Denis. That's also buyable. I have yeah. a friend, a friend that uh, says that someone has bought it and isn't planning to do anything with it, and they aren't, and they're not a tailor, so they don't know what they're doing. Oh, that's that's weird. I wondered yeah, uh, about that. I saw that it was for sale, and then I, I kind of thought, well, what, what exactly would you do with that? Well, uh, right now, B, uh, who's my friend, uh, okay. is a stylist, so oh. she goes into the catalog and tries to like uh, make outfits out of it. And then uh, her other friend that was actually gonna try and buy it is her name's Deborah. She makes clothes. Oh. So, so that would have been a, a oh. proper place for her to set up, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, uh, that's the kind of thing that uh, I'm, I'm sure, you know, uh, if uh, if uh, they uh, uh, were to, say, petition the state, they could probably find a way to, to work that out. Uh, the thing is that, uh, well, yeah, I guess uh, you have to give it time before you can mm -hmm. uh, issue it the government. Because if they if they literally do nothing with it, then then you might have, uh, what's it called, leverage to go sure, to the government sure. to release it. Um I mean, just like the, I guess the, they call it the clam all the way up there. Okay. Uh, that saloon at the entrance. Yo, yo, it yo. Was, it was owned by people, uh, but they they haven't really used it or, like, mm. opened it. Yeah, that's too bad. Especially right, that I, kind of thing. Yeah. I, I don't know why, I don't know. It's just people, I guess. You know, uh, want I to own the, something. Yeah, I've actually heard that they actually uh, left the state, but now they came back, though. Well, and they yeah. were planning to sell it so they could buy the saloon in Emerald Ranch, and they're actually doing stuff at Emerald Ranch now. But uh, uh, they were a little late on doing it, so the, a person named Chang went to the government and released it, and then he bought it up. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. Well, but then again, I've heard uh, that they're trying to do insurance fraud or something. They burned down the clam <laughs> for uh, insurance money, so I don't know. <laughs> um... what's going on with the clam now i'm pretty sure it's closed for for the time being yeah for reasons <laughs> gotcha i gotcha yeah that's that's odd but uh you know i always kind of those kind of things usually work themselves out over time it's it just you know it's unfortunate but uh you know maybe a lesson's learned uh, hopefully <sighs> hopefully but <laughs> Your sigh implies that uh, that may not be the case. I mean, uh, I think he's like, yeah, for the clam, it, it literally took someone uh, writing to the government well, to yeah. get it free, you know. Yeah. But then again, like, uh, we don't know anybody the what 
the government doesn't know what's happening with the people that owns it. You know, they could be mm -hmm. out for a month because of uh, personal reasons. Sure. Yeah. Well, that's that's always kind of the thing with it is uh, you never know. So you just do yeah, what you can. Mm -hmm. Yep. Do what you can with what you got. Like you said. And uh, you know, uh, you never know too. Like uh, you know, you your your mind things going great and uh, everything else, and then the next thing you know, uh, something kind of ridiculous like a you know like a, a having a sprained wrist and uh that makes it almost impossible <laughs> yeah but uh yeah that well i mean it's good you know what i like i, I like the fact that uh, that you can see things are happening that's uh, that's also really that's nice yeah yeah because i've been to some places where it just it, it's never happening and uh you wish it would but uh, uh, boy, I'll tell you, the citizens here are uh, are exceptional. They they really are uh, uh, very good at uh, uh, seeing a need and uh, trying to fulfill it. Yeah, it's, uh, like the doctors around the sure. states. These they usually like they, you can only really squat at the doctor's office or a place in the city, and you can't really um, own it or lease right. it out. But right. um, they're doing the best they can what they have. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's well. That's the great thing about it is is that uh, they're they're definitely doing as much as they can, possibly can, in a lot of cases, and uh, it, it's uh, it's good stuff. You know, even even people like yourself, you know, uh, like you said, you, you, here you are standing here in the cold, and uh, you know, you know, you may not see anybody, but uh, at the same time, you know, you're here and you're doing your thing. Yeah, just uh, sometimes, yeah, you just gotta do your hours in a way. Yep. But I do, like, there is a, people do see me uh, here. They'll probably come up to me and talk about why I'm doing here or they'll see my signs. Sure. Well, you know, and, and that's the thing is, is that uh, it, it really comes down to, uh, you know, if you're always kind of there or if they know it uh, or maybe even if they don't and they come up and ask you, they'll, they'll find out about it. And uh, the next time they see you, they'll go, hey, oh, yeah, that's right. You know, just like I did here, you know, where it was like, oh, yeah, that's right. You, you. It's you with the mine. I'm just, uh, you know, uh, not, not, not great at uh, writing, uh, remembering things that I don't immediately write down. Yeah, that's also a problem for me. So, yeah. I just, yeah, you have to meet the person quite a bit before you remember their name. Yeah, well. Uh, also, what is your name, by the way? Definitely helps. Robert. Segway. Robert. Yeah, Robert, yeah. Robert, there it is. Robert. Yeah, Robert uh, Stockton. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, it, it's always, always kind of a, a challenge, you know, especially like, uh, what I've noticed here is, uh, you know, one day you, uh, one day you'll meet a group of people and the next day you just never see them again. Or, or, or they're wearing a different hat and you t totally don't know who they are. Uh, yeah, most people <laughs> go by clothes than faces. Yeah, yeah the, I've noticed that. That was, uh, yeah, that was definitely kind of the thing. Because uh, I had a, I was wearing a different outfit, I think. I'm pretty sure the last time I saw you. And uh, everybody thought I was somebody else. So, yeah, I had to yeah, switch things up a little. Yeah, well, it's a bit difficult because we, we do, like, there's uh, our genetics are, like, um, mm -hmm. do we all almost look the same sometimes. Yeah, well, you know, that's, that's, uh, that's the way it kind of goes. But uh, you work around it, and uh, again, I mean, voices help as well. Yeah, well, that's definitely that's. Yeah, I think that's probably ninety percent of uh, how I identify people. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, I kind of remember the clothes a lot of the time, but uh, yeah, as soon as I as soon as I talk to somebody for a couple of minutes, it's like, oh yeah, okay, now I know, now I know. But uh, yeah, it's it's really uh, uh, it's really daunting because uh, part of my job is supposed to be doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> you know, I'd like to say that uh, that uh, that I was good at that, but uh, oof, some days. And a lot of a lot of people don't have good memory as well. well Such as myself, when we usually like when we try when you ask for a description of a person, we usually go by uh, what they what color they're wearing. Yeah. And that that they kind of sums it down very little you know? yeah especially here because you know one of the things i've noticed is uh, uh black is uh, yes. a, a very popular dye like everybody 
black why i mean i get it but uh you know it's easy to clean and uh you know you, you don't notice the, the filth as much but geez i've uh i don't actually i have blacks a black dye on some of my clothes but mm -hmm. they usually have a uh green or blue on it yeah yeah exactly or gray yeah well you know bring color into life uh, that's what i always say especially uh you know uh, nowadays boy look at all the colors we have you know 20 years ago you, you know you had uh like white and off-white you know that was it yeah i think i'm wearing a green sweater under this as well uh, excellent yeah I mean, you can't, you can barely see it through uh, over my coat, but my, yeah. when I do take it off, it is just all green. Yeah, right. Well, you know, that's, that's kind of the thing, especially nowadays, uh, you know, with it getting uh, colder out, uh, we're going to, you know, you'll have less uh, things that you can actually uh, wear. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's good because, uh, yeah, that it definitely also uh, kind of fires up the uh, the creative juices as far as, uh, uh, you know, uh, putting together outfits and stuff. Oof, oh, that guy got hit. He did. He got popped. That horse is not happy. Uh, he needs to get on it or else he's going to kick again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You should probably oh, hit that way, is. actually. Now that I think of it, I gotta grab something to eat and uh, hit the hit up the doctor. All right then. It was good talking with you again, and uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll we'll definitely touch base. I'm sure it, it it appears that you're around and I'm around, so uh, you know. I mean, if you need advice or if I mm -hmm. know something, maybe I could talk to you. Yeah, sure. Well, yeah, you definitely seem like you you know what you're doing here, so uh, yeah, you're definitely a a, a good a good advice so far. I try to be, you know, whenever people come up to her, especially because I know a lot about the, the wagons and carts. Yeah, that's great. Well, like I said, I appreciate all the information. It's uh, super helpful. It definitely narrows down what I want to do with this now. No, no worries. I just, I just know uh, coming to the States uh, my first time when there's not, you know, like when I, well, that was back when quite like a few couple months ago and not, nothing much was going around. Mm hmm like it's a bit difficult uh starting up oh yeah definitely and, and i'll tell you what you know it just uh being away for a little bit makes it huge <laughs> it's just like well wait uh, oh okay everything's different uh -huh. so you know again that's always to me that's a lot of fun I, I always find that fun learn it learn it figure out how the world works the same for me with uh, mostly for the economy because i uh, i do uh when the once the gold exchange came out uh I was excited and dreaded because the they kind of sh shambled the the gold the gold economy. Right. And then they then they fixed it, but now it's just the the margins real small. Well, but like numbers like that, I I like to collect that information and uh, try to work with it with my business. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, you get to you get that kind of a mind. You know, uh, business. That's a that's a whole like a, a certain kind of. Uh, thought process that you have to have in order to be good at that and uh it seems like you got to you got the, the fundamentals down i mean for me it's like nothing like uh let's say what's it called uh routine or was it uh what's the hmm what is the word a formula i don't have a formula i oh. just uh i know the numbers is. I see what happens with the numbers. I throw numbers at the wall and see if it works. See if I'm greedy or if I want to help the people. Sure, sure. And then just the numbers that way. Well, you know, sometimes it's just a, it's just like a, like you were saying before. It, it's just genetics. It, it's just a natural thing that uh, somehow you do. Kind of like yeah. that uh, that Patrick guy supposedly does magic. You know, that's <laughs> probably probably genetics. I don't know. I mean, I guess my way isn't efficient, but somehow the numbers end up right. Hey, you know, again, uh, you know, if you're a tightrope walker and uh, you make it to the end of the tightrope, then you're a tightrope walker. <laughs> uh, that's basically how it works. But, uh, yeah, uh, again, uh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. And uh, keep up the good work. You're, you're doing a bang-up job. Oh, no worries, man. Thanks. <laughs> Take care. All right, you as well.
Howdy. Gentlemen. Evening, friend. Mm hmm. It is. Much better. Place that. Cocksucker. Oh. I'm like I'm all angry about. More money. Uh, yeah, we better, we better make some make some food. I don't know how far along I am on that. Probably not very far. And working on learning uh, cooking a little bit more. I know it's not the best way to get it, but uh, it's the way I'm going to get it. New Lord, don't attack me, for God's sake. get four right i think that's what i get we shall see here in a second yep that's it all right good here we go good yeah perfect Okay, well, much better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Except for uh, one of the local guys suddenly got like a uh, real angry at me for some reason, and then uh, yeah, he disappeared. It was weird. Yeah, they they get real uppity. So. 
They seem that way. Especially, especially when you like get real close to them. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I, I think that's Actually, what it was. I just walked out the door and suddenly I was a cocksucker. I, I don't know what happened it's there. The, Mostly the pe the people that hang out around the doctor's office. Yeah. <laughs> seems like seems like a bad place for them to be real angry. Although I yeah, guess it's... kind of a good place. So uh, yeah, they... uh, oh, yeah. I, I managed to get all the way over there and completely forgot your name again. Brian. Brian. That's right. Brian. Mm. I got it. Uh, let me see. I, I wanted to try this because I had some problems with this earlier. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's weird. It does not seem to want to let me give things. Uh, uh, it's real finicky with the, the giving people. It's better to drop. Is it a distance issue? Uh, maybe. If you can't, okay. uh, if you like, if your eyes, if you can't, like, find me, uh, it might be a distance oh, issue. Oh, uh -huh, that's what it is. might want to be closer yep. to me, but sometimes I don't think that's the problem. Just real finicky when you try to sure, sure, take sure. stuff from your pockets and hand it over. That's right. Like uh, you have to like uh, be looking at the person somehow. Uh, I don't know. I've I've never figured it out because I always dropped because it's faster. Sure, sure. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, one second. Let me see. Nope, it's just not gonna let me do it. Here, this is for you. Uh. Right again. Uh, I'm just going to do this. There it goes. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that should keep you warm. <laughs> they got great coffee over at the the, uh, the saloon there. So uh, I always, always like to pick up a cup when I'm in town. Hmm, yeah, especially now it's that... It's winter. <laughs> oh, yeah, winter exactly. Is coming. Exactly. Yeah, uh, there's nothing better than uh, a nice warm mug, you know. But uh, yeah, I should uh, actually I should head out. I get to I get stuff to do, and right. uh, uh, I got I could sit and talk forever, but uh, get things done. Always got to get All things right. done. All right. See you, Robert. Take care, Brian. Cool. Yeah, I definitely uh, like the idea of uh, picking up a cart. It actually sounds like the medium might be a good idea, although I think I think I kind of like the uh... Take care. I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the uh, the medium cart seems like a good one, except for it's got the, you know, the top on it. Which uh, I'm not uh, not a big fan of the covering. It, it would be nice if you could do the convertible thing with it, because I, I could definitely see where it'd be nice to have it. You know, like when it's raining or snowing or stuff like that. But again, so 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 much of a tiny thing to worry about, especially when there's bigger fish to fry. Oh yeah, this isn't it. It's that way. Uh, everything looks different. Oh, I know where this is. Whoop, well, maybe I don't. Yeah. There we go. Okay, good lord. Okay, that's what I thought. <laughs> it's like, I'm sure this is it. Yeah, there it is. There we go. All right. 
Where are we at here? Six hours, ten minutes. Excellent. That is uh, about what I wanted to hit as far as the uh, stream time goes tonight. Uh, you folks live here? Yeah, I do. Excellent. Uh, would you mind if I uh, 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 spend the night here? Well, yeah, you can go ahead and spend that over in the stable if you yeah, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would be great. Cause uh, yeah, I, I gotta I gotta get up early in the morning, and uh, yeah, it's yeah. already early in the morning. Yeah, go ahead. It's snowy and everything. It's real Yo. cold. Yeah, exactly. Uh, my name's Robert. Uh, Robert Stockton. Robert Stockton, nice to meet you. I'm uh, Jeremiah Stillwater. Jeremiah, Jeremiah, I, I, you know what? I think somebody has mentioned you uh, at some point. Have. At some point, but uh, yeah, I appreciate it, and uh, it's nice to meet you as well. Yeah, it's no problem. I, uh, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'll just uh, uh, try to make sure I get everything all cleaned up and everything. But uh, I appreciate it. Yeah, it's no problem. You have a uh, you have a good night. Make sure you stay warm in there. You too. Yeah, you folks uh, have a great night. Oh, if you say so. Alright, chat. Let's see. This seems like a good spot right here. In this pile of hay. And let's see with that. We will uh do this. No we no we won't. Turn this way first. And hear the rumbling of a car. Because that's not immersion breaking. Uh, once again, thanks everybody for uh, joining me as uh, we get uh, started and uh, doing some more of the uh, HC Dime novel. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, yeah, there we go. The anchor mode. Is that what that was? There we go. Sort of, I guess. I appreciate you guys being here. Uh, thanks for viewing uh, the live show, all of you that uh, stopped by during the live show, and uh, for those of you uh, joining on in. Uh, thanks to uh, Swamp Fox 2020 for following. Make sure you to follow them as well on uh, Twitch, and uh, also uh, uh, Trincara? Trincara. I think it's Trincara. Oh, God. Well, either way. Uh, definitely follow her as well, because uh, I have a feeling that uh, you're going to see some good things from uh, from them, uh, trying to get the circus and stuff going, and uh, I'll definitely be uh, covering it with uh, uh, with Robert here. So once again, like I said, uh, thanks for uh, stopping on by. Uh, appreciate all of you uh, showing up for the uh, the uh, the live stream, and also uh, those of you uh, joining on in 
uh, on the VODs. Uh, take care of yourselves, and uh, we'll see you again real soon for more HC, uh, HC Dime Novels with uh, Robert Stockton. Once again, my name is Adamos. Thanks for joining me. Have a great night, and uh, we'll see you again soon.